You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. I'm joined by... James. James. <laughs> James. Holy <laughs> fuck. Ho Battle of the Bastards, Season 6, Episode 9 yep. of Game of Thrones. Oh, my God. It was incredible. It was intense. I need post-traumatic stress disorder. I mean, oh, fuck. I've, I have PTSD. And, uh, wow. Holy shit. Let's get right to it. I can't wait anymore. Spoilers, by the way, everybody. So, okay. James, here we go. We start out with a ball of poop. What's this? It turns out to be a coil, a, a rope, a thing. It's a catapult of some kind. They light it on fire. Whoosh! This was a cool shot, this whole thing. If we fly into marine wall, bam, boom, kabow! James, we're off to a pretty intense start. What do you think? Of, onomatopoeia there. Well, onomatopoeia, my, yeah. my kapow butt. Yeah. It was a great <laughs> opening, though, because this is where the last episode kind of left off with Daenerys' story. Yeah. She returned, the city was under siege, the pyramid was being hit by the slave masters from the surrounding cities. Yep. And we didn't know if she was going to come back, if she going to be mad at Tyrion. Was Tyrion going to be defensive? Because... This is a, happening on his watch. She right. was gone. She flew off in the dragon. And this, this is the first time they're seeing her so, again. So she comes back to her home base and shit's all fucked up. Right. It's like when your dad goes on, on a, a business trip to Thailand and you, uh, you know, you have a house party and, and now the cops are there because they found a body in the backyard. Yep. You know, it's like just like so she's mad. She doesn't. But well, we're, we're not well, sure. Yeah. But it's obviously not an ideal situation to come home yeah. from she's when you're on vacation. Yeah. She went on vacation with her two boyfriends. Mm -hmm. Now she's back and it's all crazy. Uh, but it was intense, and this is just the start of the episode, so yeah. we're like, oh man. Yeah, we're jumping right into good stuff, so right. I was just really thinking, is it going to be awesome all the way through, or are we going to see some Sam and Gilly that's going to ruin everything? <laughs> oh, know. come on. J James, you know what? Why don't you try love, mm, okay? No, it didn't work for me last time. I love Sam and I love Gilly. All right, <laughs> so, so Tyrion is sort of trying to explain himself, and she had a kind of a, this... This sort of super stoic demeanor, yeah, and he's like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, it's see? hard to tell if she's gonna rip his throat out or compliment him. Right, right, right. Yeah, because she does not really reveal what she's thinking, and he's like, "Come on, it's obviously." Well, I don't remember what he said. Well, he's, you know, he's explaining kind of what's going on. Oh, he gets into how her. Did you know that your dad tried to kill everybody in King's Landing? Yeah, well, he was saying things that things were going great. The city was on an upcline. You know, uh, on the up and up, yeah. that the, the followers in the streets were supporting her. Uh -huh. But he's like, but not everyone is supporting you. You can't have the will of all the people. The slaver bay, you know, basically crap happened. You right. Know? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and and <laughs> through all his fuddling, though, she uh, she finally goes to him. She's like, all right, well, when do we start? Yeah, and, and let's he, get to it. And he, he was like, oh, God, thank God she's yeah, not I mean, going to fire me. Yeah, he's like, do you have a plan? And she was yeah. like, yes, we round up all the masters. We slaughter them in the streets. We burn their homes and their ancestral mm -hmm. cities. And, and he was sort of like, you know, that's, that's kind of not what we're going to do because that's what your father did. And that's why my brother, Jamie Lannister, killed him yeah. because he was... A madman. He his, was the madman. His mad plan king. was to kill everybody with fire, just like you, you crazy bitch. You yeah. sounded like your dad. Right. And, and she basically retorts with, it's entirely Gosh. different. Hold on. My goddamn brother. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Lannister. I mean, yeah, how dare my, he call right now? Yeah. Go, go, go hump your sister. <laughs> brother <laughs> yeah so she says it's entirely different but he reminds her is like basically burning an entire city of men women and children there's not much difference there so he yeah. suggests that she comes up with a better plan yes yes and uh she she kind of doesn't listen to him though right well she doesn't sense. she doesn't really let it be known that that's what she's doing because it cuts to an action shot yeah which we're going to get to in a moment sure Crunch, pow, zing, poo. Yep. It's like a Batman episode. <laughs> yeah. Um, their uh, the door got blown in with a with a with a shot got hit real close to the top. Which mm -hmm. I, you gotta assume if you're one of those boat captains down there, you're going get the fucking top on that. You know, you want to be the guy who mm. nails the top of the tower. That's yep. like when I one time I went to a party and we were throwing lemons in Chicago from one thirty story building into the pool of a twenty eight story building, and then one guy threw an onion and it broke a window. <laughs> so, okay, so. Um, <laughs> That, yeah, so they dodge and it's all fucking crazy, and they're like, "All right, all right, let's go settle this. Let's go settle this." So they arrange this discussion was meeting with Mo, Larry, and Curly here. Mm -hmm. These fuck faces. This, by the way, guy is the dude who um, bought um, Sir Jorah Mormont of mm -hmm. Downton and right. sold him and Tyrion to, uh, or bought him from the uh, black dudes that yep. captured them originally. Mm -hmm. And so he's a real asshole. And the guy on the left is trying to make the heart sign on Instagram, but yes, failing Yes, miserably. he's a big fan of Ozzy Osbourne's wife, a uh, mm -hmm. big AGT fan. And this guy here is uh, just a piece of shit. All right, so... Um, so they're basically discussing terms of surrender. Yeah, they're, as their <laughs> tower gets attacked. Yeah. It's kind of peculiar that they wouldn't have a 
bigger force? I mean, it seems like mm -hmm. this would... I guess they both have their armies all situated. What does this son of a bitch want from me? Um, okay. So, uh, there they are. They're talking. And she's, of course, cool, calm, and collected, confident Danny. Uh, right. So what do they say in the terms of surrender? Are it's like basically we're gonna kill your two dragons below your keep. Yep. You're going to leave in the ships that you currently have. Um, yeah. No, 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 no. It says you walk out of here like you walked in here. Oh, so no ship. Well, basically you said you're gonna return the, the sullied army. Will yeah, be we get return to, we, to the highest bidder. Your translator will be sold off to the highest bidder. We're, we're talking about our wonderful Missande right here. Right. Yeah. And basically kicking her out, saying yeah. you know you're you're out entirely. Your dragon will be killed. Your two dragons will be killed. Your army's gone. Your basically stripped of every Essentially, right and entitlement we'll let you live is yeah. what they're saying that's and that's about all you get which i wouldn't trust them at all and it looks like she doesn't it looks mm -hmm. like she doesn't and this guy's like why do i have a horseshoe crab on my face <laughs> that's clearly what he's thinking <laughs> oh either that or it's a camping trowel oh, which you yeah. know what those are for james oh yeah i do yeah. burying poop in mm. the woods so um they uh they're confident because they feel like they have the upper hand and she's like oh no you didn't motherfucker turns out we miscommunicated because I'm here to talk about your surrender. And he goes, what? You do not. Fuck you, bitch. And, you know, that's pretty much what happened, right? <laughs> kind of. And yeah. so she lays out what she wants out of this situation. And she goes, um, she goes, uh, I'm going to kill you guys. Or, I don't, what did she say, James? <laughs> well, <laughs> no, she doesn't say that at the moment. <laughs> that happens afterwards. Yes. Oh, yeah. She goes, uh, but what did she do to introduce what, what's about to happen here? Because we get a big swoopy swoop. Yeah. From one of our favorite characters. Well, she's basically just talking Drogo. Big. Yeah, yeah. And then Drogo lands next to her. You yeah. sure? Where yeah. we are? Yep. Well, first he, he pauses on top of the building to intimidate everybody, which would make me shit in my pants. I mean, I, I poop my pants sometimes when I'm, when I'm only at the drive-thru at Taco Bell. And there uh, they go, oh, <laughs> forgot about the giant, huge, indestructible fire mm -hmm. Gorilla, uh, what are, uh, gorilla? No, what are the, uh, what are the, um, the lizard gorillas? Uh, alligators. Lizard gorilla. Okay. Rawr! Rawr! And so he lands next to her and he goes, now nah, let's negotiate, yeah. motherfucker. So the significance <laughs> of this, though, is that this is the first time, this is something we've been waiting for for years now. This has yes. been building up from season to season. We want to see her fly on the back of a dragon, which we have seen, but we've never seen her do it in a combat situation. Yeah. As a show of power of what the Targaryens can really do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're gonna have dragons as world as weapons of war, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, fucking jump yeah. on that dragon and burn some people yeah, up, eventually man. Eventually, you have to basically show that you're a threat, a force to be reckoned with. Yes, totally. And, and yeah. I was, I, my face hurts from smiling so much during this scene. Oh yeah, and the rest of the episode too. Yeah, just, this episode was uh, like better than the Hodor uh, dying episode. This episode is better than most movies I've seen. I agree, man. It felt amazing. Like I, I want to explain what I said about Hodor. That that actually struck a nerve on a whole different level because mm -hmm. it was a much more intimate, heartfelt occasion. Anyway, enough about Hodor. Let's talk about the real tough guy here, Drogo. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Don't you just want to feed him dragon treats? You know? Oh, sure. Pork, fish, chicken. Small children. Small children, lamb. Maybe, Large children. Maybe some weird belts because, yeah. you know, he eats the whole thing. And so she climbs right up. He puts his arm out like a gentleman, mm -hmm. you know, and they say sh chivalry is dead. Apparently not. Chivalry LaBeouf. So she gets up there and she tells these dudes, though, uh, I feel like we've missed a, missed a little bit on the dialogue because she kind of gives them the business. And she goes, I'm going to go uh, fuck you up, right? Yeah, in more or less words. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, and, and this is really the part where it becomes apparent that every season there's one episode where it seems like they save all their budget up. And yeah. then they just go crazy on one episode. And opening like this and knowing that there was a you know yes. a battle to come after this yes. even kind of gave it away that this is going to be the the show horse of the season yes a globe spanning fire harpy jumps on her dragon and starts killing people like what else could you ask for it's yeah. awesome and she's going to take to take all her army over to westeros and it's going to get crazy look at this so yeah I, and i also you know there's been some shots of the where she climbed up on the dragon and and she told all the Khaleesi, her army, um, the call, uh, the fucking call, right? What do they call that? Dothraki. The Dothraki horde. Yes. Uh, that that CGI kind of sucked. That didn't think it looked yeah. convincing. I was really convinced. This, this was one. much better. Yeah. So they 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 uh, the VFX guys stayed and mm -hmm. worked a little extra harder on these ones. So yeah, they whoops off. Whoa, look out, guys! She's got a dragon, and this guy's like, you guys are like, whoa, boy, I'm really glad I wore my bowls on my head today. <laughs> <laughs> so off they go. And we all know what's coming, don't we, James? Yep. First of all, these dudes are fucked. I like their little wavy sword, so those are kind of cool. Yeah, serrated. Yeah. Is that what they call if them? If I was ever a wealthy person, I would probably buy this kind of stuff off TV just to put mm. on my wall. What to, impress, to impress James. Yeah. 
I guess you just use a normal scabbard for that, though. Wouldn't sure. Be a wavy scabbard. Well, it's probably yeah. I don't think you have a wavy scabbard. That'd be like having a fucking um, spike shaped mm-hmm. uh, scabbard for your mace. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make any that sense. That would be awesome. It'd yeah. be impossible. Why don't you just like, hit... It'd be like a guitar, the, a guitar no, case you, scabbard. You can't jam it in there. Well, That's my but point. Wince would be a guitar case. Oh, like a violin. Ah, oh, yeah. smart. I, th- I see you've thought this through. Okay, yes. guys, we're getting a little off track here. So, uh, yeah, they're fucked. They're all worried, and um, I like what Danny's up to, though. Here we go. Yeah, this is the, one of the, the shot I'm talking about. Like her, her little uh, uh, panty dress. What do you call that? Skirt. Uh, Clothes. Clothing <laughs> was uh, was was like waving around and shit. And mm-hmm. you know this 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 town. These gold little towers here, huh? These must be the Starbucks. <laughs> I think that's what that is, obviously, yeah. or the Cinnabons. S I N a buns, James. Nice. Sinners. So, uh, whoa! <laughs> also, Drogo, Drogo seems to have been tamed a bit. I mean, like, uh, like the way a stallion is like, oh, I will not let you ride me. And then yeah. you're like, you become friends with it and like, all right, only you can ride me. Yeah, he was the wild dragon of the three, the one that, is, yes. that was off on his own, which is why he's the largest of the three. Also, cool shot here. Right. The, 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 the other two got out. We were wondering how the fuck they're going to get out. Right. You know? And so they, guess what? They're fucking powerful dragons. It, it really makes me wonder if the dragons have some sort of telekinetic, not tele, tele, telepathic communication or something. Sure. Because how would they know to break out at that one moment? Yeah. Kind of like how, uh, you know, um, meerkats go. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. And then they all run around. Yeah. And the other yeah. thing is that they explained in the prior episode, maybe, I don't think it was this season, I have in the prior season, that dragons mm-hmm. are like goldfish. They grow to their environment. So if they're kept in captivity, they can be no larger than a cat. Is that true? Yes. That's That was explained in the game? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, that, first of all, James, I, that's not actually true about fish. Do you want me to explain it to you? I had a goldfish. And, I and ran an aquarium business for 10 years. My goldfish and I talked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that limits a fish's growth in its environment is stress. That can cause them to not reach their full potential. However, they do not naturally scale to the size of their, their environment. No, no animal evolved in that kind of setting. So, yeah, fish can outgrow their environment all the time. They do constantly. The reason people think that it doesn't happen is because they're they're stressed out of their mind by being confined. And eventually they get so big they can't turn around. You have no idea how many fucking fish I've, how many goddamn 18-inch fish I've fished out of you know, 40 gallon really? aquariums. All right. All I know is I had a goldfish that was really tiny, kept yeah. him there for like two or three years, never uh-huh. grew an inch. We gave him to another person, put him in a giant aquarium. They renamed him Chunk, and he was like a giant football. Exactly what I just explained. He was stressed where you had him. So you tortured your goldfish until you finally reached captivity. Sweet. That goldfish was essentially Sansa to mm. you. Was it, I, and, and I was Ramsey? And Sweet. It, and it had gold. No, you were Joffrey. Joffrey. And, oh, oh. And it had gold hair, just I, like Sansa. All right, let's I, get back to the show. I so speaking of tinier fishes. dragons, yeah, they did show a couple shots here where they're flying around. I was so happy to see all three together, though. It was like Yeah, it was the first time you've seen all three together in a long yeah, time. Yeah, it was great. Like babies on her shoulder. I know. It made me feel nice. And so... Uh, but the whole point about the, the size of them is that you can clearly see that Drogo is the largest of the yes, three. Yes, yes. Uh, damn it, there's not one of these shots where... I mean, there's this one here. But yeah, you they showed one of these top-down shots where you could really see the other dragons weren't as big. And it's substantially different in size. Now, they were inside and kept, you know, they weren't fed. He was out there feeding on, like, what we said before, alligators and gorillas and mm-hmm. kids and stuff. So, uh, boom. And now we come over to this shot, and there's fighting going on. What? Right. These Turns are the out, sons of the harpies. Yeah. These sons of the pieces of shit, more like. And then there they are, murdering women. God damn it. That's not okay. Not, not I'm not cool with this. I'm not good with... Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. She, um, boy, she really made her spit up her goobers. <laughs> and uh, stab, stab, you're in the back. Ouch, my back, my spine. Hard to see out of those things. And that they hear something. James, what do they hear? Oh, no. Let's take a look. The Dothraki. Cut to the Dothraki horde. Oh, they come charging in, including... Where is he? There he is, Danny's boyfriend. Dario. <laughs> Dario Noharo or some mm-hmm. shit like that. He's even adopted their weapon of war, which yeah. is these big, crazy, uh, weird circles. It, it almost knives. looks like a little hummingbird is coming in on the right-hand side, too. This guy here? Yeah, I know, it's like a little yeah, spear just, tip or something. Yeah, but. something going on there. But yeah, that does. It looks like a little... <laughs> He's got his own cute little dragons. Maybe it's a praying mantis <laughs> called the uh, Low Sparrow. Get it? Mm-hmm. Um, religion. All right, so this guy's also excited to be in the show. You know, he goes cast, yeah. probably an act, one of those actors that can ride a horse. So, uh, well, that's a oh, head. that's a head. <laughs> yes, yeah, they, head. they charge in and slice a head off. So that's the Sons of the Harpy head flying off. That's fun. That's fun. I haven't seen a ball bounce that high since I fell, I fell down naked. So, uh, <laughs> dragons, boom, roar, screech, ah, 
Okay. Oh, these are the shots with the other two dragons. So there she is again. I just love every bit of this. This is so mm -hmm. much fun. I was staff. I was just waiting yeah. on the thing. There was so many things to see. It was really, really. Mm -hmm. uh, this was not a talky episode with, right. with with. Oh Sam, oh Gilly, oh Sam, no Gilly. What are we gonna do with our baby? That looks like Casper with a friendly ghost. Oh, <laughs> I gotta lay off the carbs. Yeah. Wasn't any of that no. shit. So this scene in particular, we were both confused by this at first because he comes down. And she gives the order. What, well, what's the word? She first, gives? They, she they don't attack immediately. She sort of hovers a little. She, right. She approaches and right she, here. Yeah, and she gets ready to. Say it's the word. Uh, it's Dracaris? Uh, Dracara. Dracaris yeah. or something. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah, which basically means shoot fire. Yeah. But it seemed like they were concentrating means, uh, the fire on one ship. Yes, that so, was weird. Yeah, she looks over, and then here she, she says it. She goes, kill, bitch. Which is, uh, that's a translated from mm -hmm. Dracaro. And so he goes, oh, you got it, mom. Roar. <laughs> he just started launching. Boom. Yeah. And Motherfucker burn. Yeah, which is basically, <laughs> it, it turned out to be a, a show of overwhelming force. Yes. She was not trying to wipe out the entire fleet because if you remember, the one thing she needs are ships. Right. So why would she destroy ships when she needs to take them from the enemy? Yes. So she's basically just scaring the crap out of them by blasting one or two or three ships which mercilessly we... to show that you stand no chance against me and my dragons. Totally, totally. And by the way, I think she should have uh, invested in some, I don't know, leather, maybe build mm -hmm. a saddle, something yeah. you could put your tushy on. I've ridden a horse, James, it's not comfortable. I can't yeah. imagine dragons are better. Yeah, I would fall off. I would have fallen off too, but exactly. She needs to, you know, but maybe, you know, she is the queen of dragons, mother, I should say. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, right, exactly. So here's the one ship that they were concentrating on. And all these guys are like, shit, I wish I wasn't wearing my life vest. That's not actually going to keep me afloat. And so they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Those are like the Crocs of vests. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> these are his green. His, looks like his, uh, like grandma's doily had sex with armor. Um, <laughs> yeah, so there's the shot. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're like, what the fuck? Why wouldn't they be spraying and doing like yeah. some napalm attacks on we, the entire fleet we weren't thinking ahead we, we, you and i are not tactical commanders yeah. we are just youtube geniuses <laughs> yes. and we're sexy handsome tall and available ladies wink wink <laughs> um so there they go that was fun so much i'm so excited about this and then these guys are here yes. this scene was actually kind of cool so the tables have considerably turned on these guys they're mm -hmm. looking back at the harbor at where they thought they had the upper hand and suddenly yeah. their fleet is being decimated yep. suddenly you have this uh fleet of skyborn death machines well, to be fair they, they all turn they all turn and look at the green screen in horror yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this, oh is, this is actually in a studio this yeah. is all just fake sand and uh, over here is craft services tables and about mm -hmm. 700 watts of power uh, they probably have more i don't know what technology. Watts. <laughs> i don't know James, they use lights, okay? I've been in a couple studios. It's all fucking lights. So, fight and die for masters who would never... Yeah, so they're now they're making an appeal. Grey Worm's talking. Mm -hmm. You want to fight and die for our masters, or you want to go home to our families? Wait, no, I, I got that wrong. Who would never fight and die for you, or go home to our families? Also, I am very stoic, because I have no pee-pee. Um, <laughs> and so he convinces these guys. This scene was funny. Though, mm -hmm. these, these little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was like shock and awe. They see yeah. what's coming for them. Yeah. They don't. They want no part of that. Do I really want to fight against the Dothraki horde and three dragons? Heck right. no. And it's a good point. They're, these these three assholes are not going to turn and risk their lives for these dudes. Why no. should these dudes? Turn? But see, this is a thing in every soldier's life. Hopefully, mm -hmm. actually, it's not true for every. In fact, it's probably a very tiny minority. If you're lucky, you get to abandon the guy who makes you fight. Mm -hmm. Meaning, like, there's no cost to them. They, they they have to make a calculated choice. Oh, my life is more likely to stay alive if I don't stay loyal, meaning like it, they're not going to get in trouble. I don't know what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, no. I bet you it feels good when you're some shithead, sh 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 shithead soldier, say that 800 times mm -hmm. fast, and then you get to actually throw your weapon down and go, fuck you, you piece no, of shit. Take know, that, Dick Cheney. Yeah. I know exactly how it was because one time I was in my front yard and a squirrel jumped off a tree and latched onto my mother and she started going into a fight with it. So I ran inside and slammed the door and watched through the front window as she flailed and rolled around the front yard in this death battle with a squirrel. Because I knew I wasn't going to be able to win that. <laughs> what? It happened. Was she holding squirrel food? No. It, it was, Why did it target her? I, the world may never know. Was it an accident? Did the squirrel not oh, see no, her? Oh, no. That squirrel was going for her. Had they been arguing? It, it was a squirrel that we had kept in captivity, raised oh. from a baby, went outside, became feral, and then decided... Like, okay, so it, it had already, though, it been, yes. had some weird... So it's 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 avoid the human circuitry, was it? It, it had a psychotic break. was a little weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish I could have seen that. It was. I w- if I were Bran, I would go visit that moment just so mm-hmm. I could have a crack up. And you, you ran inside. Well, I mean, I didn't want to. You didn't jump to your mom's defense. It was clear that one of us had to die. Who won the fight? Oh, uh, the squirrel. Oh, poor thing. And then the squirrel became your new mommy. Yes, I rode around on it and blew oh. fire out of ships and well, stuff. That explains why you sleep in trees. Yep. So they go. Whoop, 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 whoop. We're out of here. Water. Water. That's a crowd. Amber no, okay. Don't you get it? And so Grey Worm's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting good at persuading bitches. And Tyrion's also feeling pretty confident. And, of course, these guys are like, oh, no. So they give an uh, ultimatum. They, they say, say, you know, one of you has to die for this transgression. We yep. had a pact. You broke. You were in breach of that contract. You abandoned, you know, you betrayed our trust. So mm-hmm. them's the breaks. Them's one, the breaks. One of you has to die. Choose. They didn't seem to uh, resist the idea either. And, oh, yeah, Tyrion said he, he kind of took a cool measured tone, which I, I, I enjoyed. God, I, I, we're not even at the great part of this whole episode. Mm-hmm. We're still in this awesome part. So uh, they select this one guy out. This yeah, poor saying son that he's not highborn. He's not one of us. Yeah. He doesn't speak for us. He's not. Yeah, he was lowborn. I hate that when you say lowborn. No. I'm lowborn. You know what? Mm-hmm. I used to steal from a grocery store in my uh, neighborhood. That's right. And it wasn't even a wealthy grocery store. It was a struggling family. <laughs> I drink Coke in the aisle and then put it back. I hope that's not true. It's partially true. I sold some Laffy Taffy's once. Mm-hmm. Um, eh, more than once. So then Grey Worm walks up because they've made their choice. We mm-hmm. know that this man is going to be killed. There, it is an absolute certainty. Mm-hmm. Nobody, nobody ever is intelligent enough to predict otherwise. Mm-hmm. James, do you have any thoughts? Because uh... here's what happens. Grey Worm surprised everybody with a swipe. And he mm-hmm. let the lowborn man live. I unfortunately I didn't get that shot, and he just returns his bloody knife straight into his uh, pajama pants. Now, James, defend yourself. What? I, I did call it. You, yeah, you called. Yeah, it. I yeah, did. That, that's I, mean, I, did. I thought it was kind of obvious. I mean, because why? <laughs> what? Clearly, these other two men, he was basically trying to out who the 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 greater of the evils were among the three of them. Yeah. And if two people unanimously agree to have one man killed, clearly the man that you want. Telling yes. the events of what happened to the rest of the world is going to be the one man who's humble and grateful for his life. Totally, totally. And I mean, and I, I'm just trying to make you yeah. stand up here. That's funny. I, you're making me questions like, did I call it? Did I not call <laughs> yeah, it? I no, thought James, I called it. Maybe I didn't. I want to give you credit. You no, totally yeah. called it. James goes, he's going to kill the other two. And I'm always like, James, do you shut the fuck up? You're a living spoiler alert, all right? <laughs> because you're too smart. You watch these shows and you're good at predicting stuff. No, Apparently not last episode I wasn't. And now I predicted, James, I predicted uh, Tyrion's tiny thumbnail. Yeah. Which is appropriate for obvious reasons. Yeah, and I kind of like this next shot because this is one of the few times you see Tyrion standing above someone else. Yeah, it's a showing us so, basically power over this man. Yeah, we haven't seen that since he was banging his uh, old girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ver- what's her name? Um, Veronica's Closet. Shay. Yeah. Shay, Veronica's Closet. <laughs> I don't know what that even V.I. Warchowski. Yes. All right, so uh, this guy's like, oh, fuck, this, good, this short guy's telling me the business, and I got to listen to it. And Steve Tyrion tells him, go home. Tell everybody what you saw here. Tell them that the woman with the dragons is going to fuck everybody up if they keep doing this kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Right? That's my, uh, that's my Tyrion impression. Yes, and, and he asked for him to bring him back some eyeliner. And bring me back some eyeliner. And this guy goes, you got it. Well, I'll bring you back all the eyeliner you want. In fact, if you just want to smush your eyes up against mine, we could easily transfer the eyeliner right now. And Tyrion goes, that would be weird. I do not want to get any eyeliner in my beard. And so then he walks off and the guy's like, well, I can't believe I'm alive. (laughs) But good news. And then we'll move on. eBay. (laughs) He's got lots of stuff for eBay. Um... Well, that was all crazy fucking uh, amazing. Yeah, right. it was a great, great scene. It's the first time you see Daenerys actually show power, show action, yes. so show fierceness in the battlefield. It's what we've been all been waiting for. Happy we got it. Okay, so, James, dead grass and field plants. You'd actually I, change uh, the channel to the gardening channel. Yeah, this, <laughs> and we had to switch back. Yeah. This is the gardening channel in hell, where mm-hmm. the White Walkers will show you how to... No, nope, actually, it's Winterfell. We're up back up north. And I think we were both really stoked by this, because it's like, we just got through one of the most incredible Daenerys scenes ever. Yes. And we're jumping right into the titular scene in the, the episode. Yes, the uh, big old titular, I'd I, like I, to say. I, knew, I regretted saying that word as soon as <laughs> I said it. <laughs> Battle of the Bastards. We know what we're getting at here. Or Bob. Or Bob. Yeah, Bob. Yep. <laughs> bot. Budgie. Bot. Boo. Well, we take out the the. Okay. Well, why leave the O then? Just because you need it for Bob. It's, 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 okay. How about BTB? Okay. All right. Well, way to ruin this fucking video episode, James. <laughs> 
So it's a, what did I call it? A parlay, not a partay, because we have a little mating. Speaking of uh, meeting of the, um, you know, different forces aligning before deciding mm -hmm. how to kill each other, we've got the dire wolves and the flayed men, and they are having a little combo here. So Ramsey, of course, is this sinister, gives a Sansa look. She's like, you motherfucker, I'm going to fucking kill you. And we just say, oh, I've missed you, Lady Bolton, you know. Yeah, I've missed you, Lady Bolton. I'm sorry you didn't call her my wife. Hello, my wife. Yes. My wife. You know. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, he's being his smug little bitch ass. This is the car Stark. He's uh, very loyal to Ramsey. Mm -hmm. And over here, who we also will see quite a more of later, is the Umber. I do yeah. like that guy. Mm -hmm. I thought that actor is cool. And this is kind of a direct parallel to what just happened with the Masters and Daenerys. Yeah. In terms of surrender, he says, ladies, you know, Bolton will come to my side. You'll turn back. And, you know, basically surrendering terms. Yeah. Uh, what else does he... Lady Bolton, he says... Uh, he says Sansa comes home with me. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what did he say these guys do? Um, What's he, he tell them to do? He was they basically leave? saying, yeah, he was saying that they were they were outnumbered. That uh -huh. we have what six thousand men, and you have what three, half or less? Yeah, three thousand or something. Yeah. Yeah. And then John retorts with it, saying that thousands do not need to die here on this battlefield today. This is between you and me, man of man. So mm -hmm. how about we settle it right now? And Ramsey says, I hear that you're the best swordsman in the land. Yeah. So I hold on. Yeah. Slow down. I want to point this out. I love this little detail. Cute little direwolf patch on the horses. Mm -hmm. uh, what, do you, what do you call this part of the horse? The chest? Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> Is that the neck, the chest, the nape? Hey, okay. All right. So I'm getting distracted. So yeah. So they have this little thing. What happens then? They... So basically, uh, John challenged him to one-on-one -on -one combat to end mm -hmm. this thing here and now. Ramdu says that, you know, you're probably a better swordsman than me. I don't know if I can beat you in single combat. I've heard things about you, yes. John Snow. He says, I don't know that I can beat you in single combat, but I do know that my army can beat you. Yeah. So I decline. And John says, will your army fight for you, knowing that you wouldn't fight for them? Yes. And then he, that then that moment, he goes, this is where he says, uh, this is my army can beat yours. And John Snow? And John Snow's like, that's right. Your army could beat mine, but I'm handsomer than you. I'm even going to be more famous because I'm Kit Harrington and you're just some guy with... But we both got pretty good pale bodies. <laughs> and then uh, he, this is where he goes, you're, picking up on what James was saying, he goes, you're very good. You're mm. good at this. Huh? <laughs> and then John reaches out, a hand comes from this frame and grabs his hand and his finger and pulls it. And then mm. Ramsey goes... Pfft. I missed that part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that looks like he was doing it. Go yeah. yeah. He goes... Sounds <laughs> <laughs> oh, like you planned that. <laughs> he does all that and he goes. <laughs> I don't think that's. He gets a very oddly shaped butthole. <laughs> oddly shaped butthole. Finally, finally, James is going dirty. You've been. Well, doing, I mean, how you just, you've been hanging out with me too much. Yeah. Okay, so uh, so this is this is sort of crazy. Sansa's just fuming. She's angry. She's pissed off, and I don't blame her. Not that she's like losing it, but she's kind of like. She's a change. She's very different. She, her character has been on quite a fucking nightmare, and I'm glad that she's on the right team. She's got, you know, mm -hmm. this is we, we've been yeah. talking about this. this there whole was season. a time where I thought she was going to go evil when she was at uh, the Vale with Baelish. Yeah, but she oh made, right, yeah, that was because they dyed dressed, her hair. They dressed her up a little, and evil. she covered for him, and she was kind of playing mm -hmm. an evil role. And we all know there's nothing more evil than brunette. No, yeah. <laughs> and so they uh, say he go. He mentions Rickon though. Yes. And so what does he do? He goes, she uh, says, well, she, you're really going to risk your brother's life or something like that? Yeah. And she interrupts and says, well, how do we even know that you have Rickon? Yeah. And he goes, well, here's my proof. And he throws the wolf head. Now, Which, I know James has some thoughts. Go a, ahead. It still seems a tad bit small for a dire wolf. But at this point, I have to accept that that, you know, that is yes. what it is. So when we first saw this wolf, the umber mm -hmm. guy brought the wolf head with him when he turned over OSHA, mm -hmm. Occupational Safety and Health Administration, yes. and Rickon to... Mm -hmm. Ramsey and there was a conspiracy thing or not conspiracy theories going around that the wolf head was actually sm too small it didn't look like it was like a big old scary w dire wolf head and therefore it might not have been actually well the real wolf and it makes sense because they kept that wolf in a very small aquarium and then it's not until you take a wolf out of the aquarium that it grows larger now James I cleaned wolf heads for 10 years all right now let me explain them to you no um good point also, I will make the same argument that I made last time: is that you don't see the fucking scale. You can't tell. There's ground and there's horse feet. Those are. It's not like there's a quarter here or a pack of hot dogs. There needs to be a banana for scale. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it, maybe it's a plantain. Okay, mm. fuck face. <laughs> so uh, John's like, oh no, the wolf head is gone. Who's 
we've got so many wolves. We should probably make a video about you on for YouTube about which wolves are left. <laughs> yes. We've got Ghost. We've got Lyrium, however, whatever Aureus is called. Illyrium. Yeah, and those only Elysium. Two left. Yeah. Yes. In Nymeria, actually. All right. So Nyquil. Nyquilia. Yeah. So uh, he goes, oh, I've done something creepy and fucked up, and now everybody is, is pretty much kind of mm -hmm. consistent with my character. And Sansa's retort to what he does is basically a one liner saying, You're going to die tomorrow. Yeah. She goes, You're going to die tomorrow. And she rides off. I actually liked it. I, see, there she goes. <laughs> For Sansa, man. Sansa? Sansa? Yeah. Sansa Claus? Sandisk. Yeah, San Sandisk. <laughs> San the Sandinistas. So uh, he's like, oh, women, am I right? Oh. And so um, they uh, they do this thing. They're just, and these guys are just like, oh, what are you going to do? It's going to be all fucked up. And this guy's like, that's right. I just hope I get to have sex with Brienne because I have her air. <laughs> I've got the same air. It's pretty She's beautiful and she's taller than me and she could probably kick my ass and that turns me on so much. I'll put it wherever. I'll let her do anything she wants to me. <laughs> anyway, I, I doubt that's what he's thinking. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they will. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I want those two to bone like uh, like like one one mm -hmm. uh, bone his wife. <laughs> you know that was passion. Yeah. So he goes, all right, well, tomorrow morning we're going to fight each other. Yep. So, what else, is that what that what they said? Yeah, pretty much the battle set. Tomorrow is right. going to be the time. Tomorrow morning, uh, he goes meet me behind the Red Lobster at at one after gym class, and mm -hmm. Jon Snow goes, "You got it, bully!" And then he goes, oh, "I'm going to get my brass knuckles, and you're going to get a fight." James, okay. did you ever have a fight in high school? Uh, no. No. No, not you, even like a squirrel no, jumped on your head. No, no. See, see I, I run from fights. You run from my. I never no, had a fight. I punched a guy in the face once. No, side of the head because he put snow in my face. No, John Snow. It, yeah, I wish. <laughs> I would. Uh, oh, he's so hot. No, the guy uh, put snow in my face from behind, and I whirled around and I punched him really hard in the head, and then he didn't fuck with me after that. Hmm. That's uh, when I. That was my peak. Yeah, that was the probably, where I come from. We just all got along. Ugh, are you kidding? Why don't you join the rest of us, the, the regular world, you fucking psycho? It's a very small place. All right, so, battle plans. And what did they do in the past? They got out what their version of PowerPoint. Or <laughs> what would you call that? Uh, uh, AutoCAD. I don't know. <laughs> this is the only thing they, 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 they had to play with little toys. And these look like just fucking painted rocks, like some sort of poor person's chessboard. Yep, that's all they are. Yep. And um, they're figuring it all out. Although it does actually, now that we're looking at it, this is <laughs> this is the uh, Winterfell forces. Mm -hmm. This is their forces. Um, I don't know. Looking at this, I would say uh, don't. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe launch some fucking plague bodies and over the wall. Yeah. You know, maybe send some mean tweets about them and start a hashtag that might change people's mm -hmm. minds. Raise awareness. Hashtag Ramsey's a motherfucking bitch. Mm. I, 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 we just got up through talking about how I can't stand when people would say hashtag out loud. Yeah, I know. And you did it. James, is a, James is a hashtag silly, silly no, boy. My rage is building. <laughs> uh, so funny. He works with... Okay, so... All right, so these guys are having this whole conversation. It's the men. It's the boys. It's the men. We are talking. We are planning. We are making things. Uh, dec decisions. So I'm, I'm getting to a point later on here, James. <laughs> What sort of stuff were they talking about, though? They're just sort of strategizing. Yeah, yeah, just making the battle plans before the fight. And mm -hmm. this kind of segues into a one-on-one -on -one discussion between John and Sansa. Yes, eventually it does, though. But they do kind of decide. They keep mm -hmm. showing her, and she's not she's not, she's not part of the plans. Yeah, the she's thing. not really getting into it. And then uh, they leave. They But what sort of... They decide that we're going to... Uh, I'm just trying to think of any specifics. I, I they, feel like they, we... They talk about pinching. Oh, yeah, pinching. Thank mm -hmm. you. Uh, that was actually funny, where Jon Snow was explaining what pinching means. Mm -hmm to uh, the guy. He goes, they're not going to squeeze us from both sides like when we have tickle fights mm -hmm. in that same cave where I banged my old girlfriend who killed me, who I got killed or something. I don't know. <laughs> the one, the redheaded one who knows nothing. Yes. She um, likes my tongue. Egret. Egret. Thank you. Live life with no egrets. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then Sansa comes up and I'm, 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 I'm on team Sansa here, James. I know you're on hashtag team John. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she goes, hey, dummy, guess what? I know, Ramsey. I was married to him. Well, He's, technically still is. I'm still, <laughs> technically still is. 
He's a fucking asshole. I know him better than you. He plays with people. Yeah. Don't walk into his trap. Yeah, you're she, walking into she, his trap saying, here, buddy. Yeah, you don't know him. He doesn't fall into traps. He lays the traps. Yes, yes. And he's like, "What do you want me to do? Um, we've got. We don't have. We don't have enough people to fight. I'm very hungry. What are we gonna do? He's kind of like fighting her off, or not fighting her off, mm-hmm. but like arguing with her a little. And yeah, it, it's it's weird, but. I yep. get it. They're, they're, they're both yeah. a little stressed out. And one of the prior scenes he was saying to the men of the, the area, to Tormund and Davos... That my he, boys, my Right, head. that he was trying to make... Uh, trying to throw Ramsay off his balance. Trying to make him angry by inciting oh, him right. by saying those words. Thank because you. he wants him to act rationally. He wants him to charge straight out at him. He goes, did you think he would actually fight you? Yeah. He goes, no, I wanted to piss him off. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so he thinks that he's got kind of... Yeah, he, he thinks he's playing Ramsay. Yeah, he thinks he knows what makes Ramsay tick. And yes. Sansa's like, you don't even have the slightest idea. Yeah. He's like, I do! I have the slightest idea! <laughs> and she goes, oh man, she goes, just don't walk into the trap. You're gonna get trapped yeah. here. Yeah, and she basically says, don't do what he wants you to do. And he was like, oh, really? I didn't think of that. That's a great <laughs> advice. You're a genius. <laughs> You're a genius, Sansa! Whatever your name is. Um, I couldn't remember the actress's name. So uh, she walks off, and, he, and he's just stuck with his little Legos, and he's like, oh, man, I got a lot to think about here. But she also starts going on and on about we need more people. You know, if this is the army we have, this is what we have to fight with. Yeah. And she still doesn't come clean about her correspondence in that other episode, right. which, as we discussed in a prior video, is like that was so clearly, as you pointed out, written to Peter Baelish. Oh, the right. Knights of yeah. the Veil. Vale. I don't think I was any using any great insight when I figured out that's who she was writing. But people did take screenshots and slow mo, and they actually transcribed the entire letter, and it was absolutely to Peter Baelish. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wow. I was kind of hoping she was writing to me. You know, <laughs> I do. Uh, you run into the mailbox every morning. I do have like sixteen hundred Twitter followers. <laughs> you point to this guy. That raven is for me. Ooh, is that raven for me? And then it just poops in my face, and I go, <laughs> "Oh, Sansa, why must you scorn me?" <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, she's got, I don't know, and by the way, he's got the Holy Grail. Yes. So he's doing <laughs> That's good. how he came back to life. He has chosen wisely. <laughs> okay, so, uh, shit's fucked up, and speaking of that, the old boys, the men, are out for a walk, and they're, uh, going, oh, ooh, what are we gonna do? It's all fucking crazy here, and isn't all... What are they talking about, James? Um, uh, it basically ends with Davos telling Tormund that what do you do before a fight? Oh, and right. he offers them some potent alcohol or uh, he goes, goat's I got, milk or I got, something. I got first sour goat milk. Way better than that grape juice you southerners drink. Right, and he says, I need to keep my head clear yeah. before a battle. Truth be told, I can never sleep before a battle. He goes, well, what do you do? Goes, what do you do? I walk and I think and I basically crap myself. Yeah, he goes, well, I walk and I uh, walk some more and I stay up all night and then I get the diarrhea. And I get diarrhea so bad that I go to CVS and I get some uh, uh, cotton swabs. And I pack my bunghole, filled up to the brim, and then uh, at the battle, I, uh, ooh, I, I'm losing my Davos. <laughs> I burn, I, I set my bunghole on fire, and I squirt uh, co- diarrhea-soaked cotton swabs at the enemy like paintballs. And what does that sound like? It sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> I went to hit the wrong one. I went to hit this one. <laughs> That's so much worse than I imagined. <laughs> that one goes on forever. It kind of sounded like Shireen. And he goes, oh, okay. All right. I'm going to go get drunk and I'm going to get hung over before night so I could sleep before a battle. All right. So, we, yeah, that was actually kind of a funny scene. Man, James, I forget everything. If you weren't here. And so Davos goes walking. He got, oh, wait. Wait, what's, oh, John first goes talking. Yeah, we have go a back to like two screens. During the time you were saying, you looked at me and said, this is pretty tense. And I was like, is he saying the tents are pretty? <laughs> and I was thinking of that scene. So. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> that's hilarious. I was, I was like, wow, because now there's some real, like, stakes, or, like, shit is going down. I mean, of course, it's Game of Thrones. Who knows? Suddenly the White Walkers could come sweeping through this shot or something mm-hmm. like that. But it, it, it really feels, this whole episode felt tense on edge. Yeah. Even, I mean, once the fight happened, it went on forever, which is great. We're going to get to that. But the whole thing was was like, I was glued to this. Mm-hmm. I was glued to the edge of my TV. It mm-hmm. was amazing. And it is pretty tense. And speaking of tense, James, mm-hmm. uh, you're too tense. Oh, That's a, you. something, there's a joke about that. Like, what is the to TP go to the therapist? Yeah, you're too tense or some bullshit like that. Mm-hmm. I say, what did the past particles say to the therapist? You're too, you're past tense. Okay, so 
Uh, he walks in. It's my favorite woman, one of them. I have uh, several favorites. And, uh, boy, she is, uh, whoa, she's, I love her so much. She's much less confident than she was before. Yeah, she's just ch chilling in her house here. She's kind of holding up, not really. I, you know, you'd think she'd be like a battle sorceress. She's, yeah. I guess it's not really her style. He says that I missed you at the meeting, and she yeah. says that I'm not a strategist, I'm not a fighter, I'm not a military I'm person. I'm not a fighter, Jon Snow. I'm more of a Karl Rove type. Yeah, she, I just stand back and make up ideas. Yeah, she, Ever since being proven wrong that Stannis was the Lord of Light's champion, I think mm -hmm. she's kind of been resigned. She's welcoming of being proven wrong again. She has, yeah. doesn't have a lot of faith in the fact that Jon Snow is actually the true person. Are you? Well, I think that she's. I think she's been narrowed in what she sees her purpose as. Right. That, like, like she definitely knows some shit's going on. She brought a guy back to from the dead. Well, and, and, well oh, I know because she goes, I don't have any power. Yeah. The Lord of Light chose me. Maybe he only brought you back for this one right. time. And, she, and I say she's not confident because he says, don't bring me back. And she yeah. says something like, you know, it's not up to me. It's the signs that I read and <laughs> best follow the Lord of Light's commands. Yeah. And she said, maybe he brought you back for a reason. Maybe he brought you back just to serve the purpose of this battle. Maybe you're supposed to die at this battle. I right. don't know. So yeah. she's basically saying that she doesn't have the kind of confidence and the insight and the long vision that she claimed to have in the past. That's true. I agree with you. But I'm saying, but... I, yeah, I, I, you're not wrong, but I, I'm saying I pull that back to like she's like, well, I'm gonna bring it back to life, so that she still has some faith. Yeah, she, yeah it's, because it's, that's, she's, wills it. When a guy goes, don't bring me back to life again. Seriously, it's really fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's been nothing but trouble. I was I was doing just fine. Yeah. It's been I've been really stressed out. My healthcare premiums have gone yeah. through the roof. I haven't had an erection. <laughs> you have an idea what it's like not being able to get it up, even if there's nobody around. It still feels demeaning. Emas emasculating and she goes I don't care I'm bringing you back bitch boner or no boner you're bringing back if the Lord of Light deems it so as right. James explained mm -hmm. so she's sort of like not calling the shots but you're right she's not seeing the future like she used mm -hmm. to claim which I frankly would be okay with you know James if I dated a, a woman and she was into a uh, religion and, and it gave her comfort I'd be all for it I would support her I'd say honey I would drop you off at church and I'm gonna go Play darts. I would help her put a straight jacket on every morning. Too. I would help her put a straight jacket on. But if she started telling me, here's what's going to happen. You are the chosen man and I will bring you back to life. I'd be like, all right, fuck you, bitch. I'm going back on Tinder. <laughs> so then she turns and he walks out. This this camera shot pulled back. And she just turns back to her little Netflix. She's, yeah, she's, she's just watching, watching the flames. Yeah, yeah, watching flames and just uh, enjoying. What do you think? She's, what show do you think she's watching? Reruns of Seinfeld? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. Possibly Breaking Bad. Oh, I know. St. Elmo's Fire. Mm. Oh, Elmo on fire. Grace under fire. <laughs> Grace under fire. Or perhaps Chicago Fire. Uh, Isn't that one of them? Oh, I got one. Um, the f uh, f uh, David Letterman Fire. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Boy, People are just not watching us anymore. So, okay, now Davos is out for his little stroll. I'm mm -hmm. walking, I'm walking, I'm thinking, I'm talking. I'm not talking, I'm just, oh, look, what are these rocks? I mean, these are not rocks, these are sticks. Okay, okay, let's just check it out here. Hey, what's this? Something yeah. down there by my feet. I might as well bend over. Oh, it's got snow on it. Probably fake movie effects snow, but it's okay. Oh, gosh, that looks familiar. What is that? It's not an onion. It's not an onion, it's something else, in fact, entirely. It is my friend Shireen's mm -hmm. toy. And he didn't know... Did I nail it? Yeah, I nailed he, it. he's just now learning that the Lord of Light, through the Red Woman, commanded Stannis to burn Shireen, the little girl with the, the gray scale yeah. on her face, who uh, who he loved. He was almost he was a better father figure to him, to her, than to her. Stannis ever was. She was a and, sweetheart, too. She right. was awesome. I and like that her. was the little carving that he made for her. Uh -huh. And, you know, and it's one of the hardest scenes to watch in this entire series is where she dies because her scream sounds exactly like... Uh, And her, her screams also sound like this. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> you got the right one the first yeah, time. Yeah, that was pretty... Well, the second this, one, was, this was a more of a powerful scene, though, because he's standing there, and he's putting two and two together, and he's realizing what's yeah. actually happened, and he is furious. He figures out that this crazy religious bitch killed his friend. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think he has... Well, helped kill. Yeah, he's got it in for the Red Woman, because yeah. he can't take revenge well, we on were like, anymore. you go, oh, he doesn't... Or no, I... It seemed like he would have known that yeah, she got burned. I, yeah, I thought that... 
and the one thing that revealed to like me that, that, that he didn't like, know well word would have gotten out i mean there was right. a lot of people watch that when you watch a guy burn his own daughter mm -hmm. him and his wife with their with their religious consultant mm -hmm. burn their own daughter to death people start talking right Go ahead. In, in the scene where he was talking to tormund he references stannis and says i love the man yeah and then tormund basically goes back saying well i loved uh my leader too my leader didn't Mace. burn yeah didn't murder torture burn people and oh right and they kind of have the dialogue back and forth which tells me that if he knew that stannis had ordered the death of shireen yeah he would not love that man anymore so he maybe would never so this that. is him figuring it out yeah now right. he knows yeah and so, okay. the only person left to take vengeance on is the red woman yeah yeah yeah, so he does. I actually love this shot. This was yeah, it was great. a great. Just sort of a dusk or dawn. Yeah, and he the turns morning. at one point and his, his cloak billows a little bit in mm -hmm. the wind, and it just looks great. Yep, yeah. this here, kind of like, kind of like Batman, wondering what to do next. Okay, back to Marine. We got to get to the. Okay, oh yeah, so Theon. This was burn. a big shock. Yeah. I, I didn't, you know. Pretty surprising. They these guys. Last time we saw Theon and his sister, they were whoring it up at Volantis, yes. right? Um, and uh, she was all lezzing it out. It was kind of hot, and he was all going, "I'm drinking, I'm drinking." Uh, and he kind of came back a little bit as Tyrion, or uh, Tyrion. His, 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 his <laughs> the Yian, the Yio. And uh, but they're pleading. They're making their case here. They're basically asking for their. Um, for Daenerys' approval or allegiance, not allegiance, right. but they, like they've uh, come offering the ships from to Daenerys. Yeah. And Daenerys is now saying that when I combine the ships you're offering me with the ships that I took from the slavers during the last fight, we yeah. barely have enough forces to make it across the narrow sea right. to get back to Westeros. But she assumes that Now hold on, before you get to that, oh. Tyrion gave Theon a bunch right. of shit. Yeah, Tyrion says the last time we met was in Winterfell. You were basically arrogant. You were using every kind of slander against me. Yeah. It's calling me a dwarf, saying that I should look up to you, saying all sorts of these little things that clever people think that's the first time he's heard it but in yeah. reality there's only six or seven different insults and he's heard them a million times yes yeah so and he's saying he's like but i imagine terrible things have happened to you since yeah, life but, didn't work out well for you but we all lead complicated lives yes right okay and now get to where you were saying this so then they're negotiating kind of like what are they going to do and danny's uh, suspicious that they're actually up to any good or that they'll fulfill their end of the deal. Yeah, she wants to know what are your Yara motivations? Yara makes a little lesbo, uh, yeah, lesbo was, flirtation, yeah, which she, I was like, hey girl, get it, get get some of that, blondes, yeah. have more fun, what, yeah. what? So Daenerys is smart enough to know that someone doesn't just come and offer something to her without wanting something in return. So yeah. she assumes, like, well, clearly you want me to back you in taking back the Iron Isles. Yeah. And she says, has a queen, oh, actually, he's she says, you know, so is Theon going to run the Iron Isles? And he uh -huh. says, no, I'm not fit to rule. It's going to be Yara. She's going to come back. My uncle came in, usurped the throne. We need to go back there, kill him, take back the Iron Isles, and Yara will rule. And she right. says, well, has the Iron Isles ever had a queen? And he said, no. And they had some sort of a connection based yeah. on that because they're powerful women ruling powerful The kingdoms. first time a female yeah. ruled, which in this world is extremely rare. It's our world. It's fucking rare. Yeah. I mean, it's happens more than in, in Westeros, I guess, but or in Essos, where the fuck they are. But uh, yeah, so that was awesome. And they, they had a little bit of that, like, hey, girl, you two girls, yeah. what's up? We're yeah. going to do and, it. And then she mentions that her uncle, who she needs to kill in order to take back the Iron Isles, is going to come and make the same proposition to her, only he's going to require that he bring and offer his, you may say it. Huge cock. Yes, to Daenerys, yep. basically wants to wed her. So she mm -hmm. says, I imagine you don't have a similar proposition for me. And she says, no, but, you know, I'd be open to the offer. In yeah. Which they share a kind of a nice little glance back. Little before. winky wink. Little, mm -hmm. la little lady eye contact. Mm -hmm. It was very brief. I mean, it was mostly yeah. just like, oh, okay. It shows that they understand each other, though. Which yeah. Is, which is important because yeah. it shows that they're truly an ally to one another yeah. now. Yeah. And these people live hard. They die hard. They fuck hard. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying, James? But. Kind of like me. I mean, well, yeah. I nap mo I nap a lot and I feel sad about my future. But what does Daenerys say at the end of this? Because before I enter into this pact of friendship, before I support you, in taking back the Iron Isles, mm -hmm. you cannot lead an evil life. You cannot pillage. You cannot rape. You cannot kill. You cannot be the people that you have traditionally been. It, right. There's an end to that, and it happens now. Yeah, and, and she agreed to it. And she goes, but that's what we do. Yeah. That's our way of life. Not anymore. We pillage and rape. Mm -hmm. And she goes, no, uh No, you don't. And then uh, and she, yeah, she Tyrion's a like, see, you can't handle, you can't tell her what to do. I tried. She's the queen, man. Yeah, and her motivation was that she looked at Yar and said, 
your father was an evil man, my father was an evil man, they came into this world, took power, and left it worse than they found it. Yeah. We're not going to do that. We're going to leave it better than we found it. Yes, which is nice to hear that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's about goddamn time somebody doesn't fuck up the world. And, and then they, uh, yeah, well, they start going on about climate change and how dragon fire <laughs> puts CO2 into the atmosphere. Yeah, it's about methane exhaust yeah. in there. Um, <clears throat> it is dragon caused. So, yeah, so she, uh, they do this thing, which I always found interesting. If a man... Or woman, but it'd be a man, because in this world it'd be a dumb shit guy. Tried to shake my hand and wanted to grab elbows or do this <laughs> forearm clutch where they do this thing. I would immediately uh, mace him in the face with squirrel mace. <laughs> I would not tolerate this shit, but in this context, I think it's cool. Right there, that mm -hmm. thing. Hey, Billy, hey, Tormon, ah, we're going to grab forearm. Like, what is this? The fucking... Uh, what, what, what are we doing? Reenacting Vikings on TV? <laughs> Come on, get out of here. Shake hands like a man. Like, it's all arbitrary, to be honest, James. It really is stupid. Yeah. So uh, they do this and they have this little thing. This is not the Lezzy flirt. That was a little earlier. I mean, it's much more sanitary to shake like that. That's true. It's true. There are a lot, lot less bacteria over here mm -hmm. than on the palm. Because what do you touch with your hands, James? Uh, chicken tikka masala. <laughs> Hotel clickers. Do you, uh, you yes. think the clicker in Marine has been disinfected anytime soon in the Queen's suite? I don't think so. Okay, moving on. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Big war. Big fight, sort of. But uh, the uh, invading armies of the Jon Snow, the Tormund, and the Onion Knight man, and Sansa, and, well, the Red Lady's not around in this shot here. Uh, they are lined up, ready to fight. This reminds me of the game the Total War series, by the right. way. Right, so whose play. army is that? If you pull back a little bit, we can tell this is Davos. Yeah, this is Davos. There. Also because Winterfell is not behind them. Right, where's where's 1-1, one -one, though? Oh, where's 1-1? One -one? That might be 1-1. One -one. Is that 1-1? One -one? Yeah, I think that's 1-1. One -one. Okay. Yeah, I've got eagle eyes, James. Unlike <laughs> you, you have, um, James has, uh, like, uh, mannequin eyes. <laughs> so, um... No one, one there, but no, no that's, I don't think it's one a tighter there. shot. He is there, dude. It's him. It's it's right. there. I know he's there, but that's him. Okay, you're gonna get a lot of blowback in the comments from this. Hey, everybody, let us know. Is James super wrong or just no. kind of wrong? The answer is super wrong because that's, there's only it, one answer. Uh, it's clearly that serial Pharrell. Yeah, that's serial Pharrell. Yeah, yeah. He goes, oh, you want to water dance? I will show you. <laughs> I'm the first sort of bravos. <laughs> So, um, lots of shots. This whole thing, man. This entire sequence. We got to burn through this. I, there's so much to talk about. Mm -hmm. It was. I, I didn't. I want to catch that. Sigil. See, there's one. one Who's right there. I mean, is this? Uh, this is one of their Spider-Man Island, or Spider is that the Bears? <laughs> oh, Liana. Liana Mormont is there. Yeah, she was. Uh, she. I, it looks like. He, I don't know if it's come up yet or not. Is that a Baratheon? Was, uh, that what looks is that? like a bear from the Bear Isles. Oh, that's the bear. Huh? Yeah. Oh, tough to tell. Oh, the Baratheon is a stag. I'm stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Yeah, so she was there. Yeah, there's some of the stags up there. Okay, we've got the direwolf, yeah. which is cool. I interrupted you, though, there, bro. I oh, no, I was saying they're, they're cereal right there. Yes, that's clearly that's, cereal yep, for real. Clearly, obviously. Dancing. Yeah, wait yeah. for him to uh, take off his mask. What yeah. if uh, uh, Yakin Hagar took off a mask and... Okay, all right, we're, we're getting distracted. <laughs> so, okay, he's there with his giant penis nose. <laughs> Look at that thing, boy. Hey, buddy, you ever heard of circumcision? Lock it, lop it off! And so these guys are bros. See, look at that thing. Look at that. Uh, okay. You know what yeah, that yeah. means, though. That's how they reproduce. They don't. Uh, they don't yeah. have. They don't have missionary. They have sixty-nine. Uh, okay. Um, he goes. Oh, look at the size of that penis nose. That is one of the weirdest, <laughs> craziest things. My my nose is regular size. I mean, it's not okay for m most women have liked it. I mean, you know, it's not. It's not the size of the. It's not the motion of the. It's not the size of the nose that counts. It's the sniffing of the pissing of the. <laughs> God. Okay. I'm trying. I'm really trying, James. It's hard to do it on the fly. There he is, dumb fuck. He's standing here. Well, and, of course he's right there. Well, in the other... <laughs> don't you see him? <laughs> no, but I'm saying in that top-down shot, let's jump back to it. Let's go back. So I want you to show... He is to this side, which would be left of the archer line. It, it seems now, like he would on, be look. bigger he's, in the large... Uh, you know. No, it's a far shot. Look, he's to the left. He's standing there of this archer line. That's exactly uh, where we're looking at him. As it's, it's just a large horse. You can admit you're wrong. Hey, Google <laughs> cognitive dissonance there, you, you, you science genius. So, okay, now, okay, we got a furry bearded man. We got, this guy wasn't even an actor in the show. He's just some hobo that wandered by. And so they're, uh, oh no. This reveal was kind of cool, though. They show the other team, and they're like, fuck, there's Winterfell behind him. See, just like I said. And uh, they got flayed things, you know, things. cross, cross <laughs> burns. But these are their flayed uh, things. This is what they flay. 
we need to flay just to make it today. And wow. so uh, this is part of the uh, also kind of cool, although you think they'd have more, I guess they're just an intimidation factor, but uh, they would break up the lines if you're trying to march forward, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I suppose they serve some tactical advantage or maybe they're roasting marshmallows and mm -hmm. Oh, they're roasting something else. Yeah. <laughs> they are roasting bald men. We didn't know who these people are. I think they're just... No, uh, it's just a symbol of power. You know. Sacrificial. Yeah. That's kind of sad. So a much bigger force, much greater army, and they are fucked. I think this is the Umbers, right? The flag, the chain there? Uh, I don't know Either for that sure. Either that or the Karstarks. Yeah. Those two seem to be the two primary... Mm -hmm. Homeboys, obviously the flay. We know that mm -hmm. clearly. Um, that is not a good business logo. That's actually the same logo that Adidas used to have. Mm -hmm. So uh, there they go. Big helmets. They're all ready to fight. Oh look, look. Let's go back. Look, the, is that a flay on the top mm -hmm. on the helmet? Interesting, isn't it, James? Yeah. Wow, you yeah. sound so excited. Oh, the, the, horsey the, the horse fight for their king, Bobby yeah. Flay. Bobby Flay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This guy's cool. I, oh yeah, see, he's got the chains. This was obviously his 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 thing. Either that or he works at a lamp store, one of those lighting stores, you know, where it's really bright inside. Yeah. This is the kind of ropes to hang him from. Mm -hmm. I meant to say chains. So he drags out, speaking of ropes, yeah, what's this? It was pretty obvious what he was going to do. Yep. There. He's got a new toy. It is young puberty head Rickon. Oh, no. He, <laughs> he's fucked. What is it? What's going to happen? Jon Snow goes, oh, no, shit. It's my brother, Rickon. Or Rikon. I don't know. And then he goes, these guys are all like, oh, god damn it. Uh, this sucks. He pulls out this tiny sword. It's like a letter opener, almost. <laughs> I know, it does. It's just, it really does. But I'm sure it's pretty sharp. They mm -hmm. were, uh, they kept their blades pretty pretty mm -hmm. sharp back then. Now, what, was that, what was that glove he had on? It was like, it was missing a finger? Or? That's an archery glove, maybe. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Good call, though. Look, that, it's got yeah. a bone handle. So that's kind of a, a foreshadowing event to what's going to happen. I think, well, or just that he knows what he's about to do. Mm -hmm. And so these guys are all like, oh, man, where's one one? Does anybody see him? No, he's, he's he not. He couldn't possibly be visible. No, there's a big horse there, but I don't yeah. see next to Tormund, you know. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Look at how big he is, though, dude. <laughs> he could put his drink on top of his head. <laughs> oh, still, Tormund. <laughs> um, so, oh, look, he looks at him. He's thinking about it. He's going, hmm, maybe I'll put a drink on the top of that head. He's holding still. <laughs> or he'll rest his balls on it. Okay. Uh, so they go, and Jon Snow, this is when shit goes, we, we realize Jon Snow is not the player. In mm -hmm. fact, he is the, the playee. Yeah, if there's anything we know about Ramsay is that he is a cruel, manipulating monster. Mm -hmm. And if he has any chance to enrage his opponent to sh as a for show of force, he's going to do the most cruel thing imaginable in front of them. That's, that's why I assume that when Recon comes out, he's not going to stand much of a chance. Yes, we are pretty sure shit's going to get crazy. But we don't know if he's going to stab him. Recon doesn't have any idea. So James actually called it. What's he do? He cuts him open. I mean, his free. <laughs> he cuts him free by opening his hands. And I mean, can't they just untie rope? This is such a waste of rope. I know. They're always wasting rope. By the way, in movies, when they like have your hands like duct taped or cut, mm -hmm. they always cut it so cavalierly. Yeah. Like if I actually had my hands tied and I go, James, here, grab this knife and help me. Un I wouldn't. I would be freaked out if you were like, okay, fine. <laughs> he just took a swipe. <laughs> it, it would take a lot of coordination. I'd be like, yeah. oh, careful, careful. No, careful. Go slow. Go slow. Okay, put something under it. Okay, go slow. That's how, that's how, realistically. Mm -hmm. But Jon Snow's like, fuck, shit. I wish I wasn't alive. <laughs> and he's like, oh, look at Jon Snow. He's, he's got a regular nose. You think his nose is any good? And so. <laughs> <laughs> you used to smuggle noses like <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah. They, don't, they call me the Onion Knight because I can't smell onions. It's my nose. It's not very good. <laughs> Also can't smell vaginas. Um, he pushes forward and he goes, Now, little boy, you want to play a game? We're going to do this game. I use only one rule. And John Snow's like, Motherfucking Ramsey, yeah. or are you I got to save my brother? Oh, hello. We're going to do this. You, you run. Oh, and he's still and like, oh, Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Oh, he's still in, like the rabbit pelts and stuff he was when he was first uh, captured back in the north. So he oh, smell like crap. Yeah, he probably reeks. Speaking of that, yep. but he probably, ugh, yeah, what a mess. You just think about that. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't change my shirt for like two weeks and it starts to smell. <laughs> and so he goes, ah, here we go. Right. And then the guy brings over the arrow. Yeah, and, and you like, kind of know where this is going to go. Yeah, we're like, fuck. So what do I say immediately, James? Run and zigzag. Zigzag, yeah. Pretend he's an alligator, as if we all like mm -hmm. would survive that. By the way, I don't think alligators are that persistent. Mm -hmm. I think you just got to do two or three zags, maybe a yeah, zig. I, mean, if I, were, I would just run to like the very zigzagging to the very first flayed man thing and hide behind that well that occurred to me as well 
Um, but I thought uh, Kit, yeah, totally. Uh, Kit's acting was great, though. He was just like fucking like motherfucker, god damn it! And he, so he decides what to do. He's a man of action. I thought the way he jumped on those horses was very good, though. They did a great job. He leapt right up onto it, and he goes, "I'm all, I'm gonna go save my brother." He doesn't say that. Well, he has an advantage though because he knows he still has at least fourteen lives. Yes, exactly, <laughs> fourteen lives. Um, especially with that red lady. That, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. <laughs> like following around. What a curse! Wouldn't that be like a funny mm. nightmare? Like they have just some hot priestess who just won't let you die, <laughs> keeps bringing you back. So he takes off running, and oh shit, run, Rickon! He's gonna get you. Good camera shots. Rickon's on his way. You That's the sound of uh, arrows mm -hmm. flying. They keep hitting in the ground, and Ramsey's like, oh, another. He's so calm. Anytime he's calm, it's time to worry, because he's a maniac. When a maniac yeah. is calm, shit's about to get fucked up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we all kind of know what's happening or something. You know, I, w I was predicting, wrongly, that uh, he would shoot Jon Snow or the horse. Well, or no. The that would make more sense if I was... No, but see, it, the, as sad as this is, this has to happen because you need the audience to feel extra hatred towards Ramsay. Ramsay's done a lot of messed up stuff, uh -huh. but you need the immediacy of his cruelty to be shown on screen in order to create a hatred for him that makes the battle itself that, that much That's more powerful. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, Ramsay hasn't done, it doesn't, hasn't done enough to make people hate him. He's really got to prove the case. No, he's done... A, what I'm saying is, is that he has to do something in the moment. I know. That sets I, I the agree. mood, sets the pace for what's about to come. Well, it ups the... Yes, I totally agree. It, it, it turns the dial to 11. Yes, and that's, this episode yeah. has been delivering time and time again. Right. So I knew that this had to happen. There's yeah. no way they would set this path going and then not finish it. Completely. And he's crying because he left his brush back at his at his uh, slave pen <laughs> or where they, wherever they keep him. And so he's on his way and uh-oh, uh now Ramsey is shooting and um, guess what happens? Well, it's not this arrow. Not that arrow. He misses. Shit! Wow, that was close. Whew, maybe he'll yeah. make it. Maybe That's, he'll be okay, yeah, James. It was really clever the way they shot it, too, because you see him pull the last arrow, and yeah. you think that he's in the clear. That one didn't land. Clearly, he's too far away now. He's mm -hmm. safe. He's in the arms of his brother. Yep. All is well. I'm coming! I'm coming! He, by the way, this kid had very little dialogue. He mm -hmm. did not... And then, uh-oh. Yeah. He takes one. Right into the old heart. I don't Ooh. think this is... Is this in his heart? Yeah, well, it looks like it was coming out of... It's a heart region. You know, maybe... Uh, James, they're not They're not us. Maybe well, their I mean, heart's on the other side. What I'm saying heart. is that he's a Stark. He's a he's a true-born Stark, which means that if he gets hit in the guts, his guts are made of Valerian steel. Yeah. We learned that from Arya. Yes. So he's going to be fine. Well, steel would have deflected it. I think what you mean to say they're Wolverine made of... Guts. Wolverine yes, guts. Wolverine that, guts. That heal in, uh, just from, from soup and love. Yes. James is, uh, has major issues with the fact that Arya healed because James believes little girls should die. Uh, what, little boys die? Well, you sh you are evil. <laughs> <laughs> so John goes, motherfucker! And Ramsey's like, I knew it. I knew it. And John's angry and he sees his dead brother and he's got, you know, that's a real dead. See, that's like, I don't know. I guess his heart would be like right around yeah. here. I guess like a liver shot. I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm not a heart. You know, who the fuck There's knows? important stuff in there. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good uh, machinery going on. Yeah. It, he hit his alternator. Yeah. He is fucked. <laughs> his catalytic converter <laughs> yeah, shot. He's, just, boing, he's done. And uh, he goes, oh, no, it's time. Fucker. John's mad. I like cold, angry John. It's kind of cool. You know, they have these little icy eye contacts, these uh, de dead blue eyes. He's got the living brown eyes, and he's got the uh, furry, big furry brown, brown. You know, there's like an ant colony living. A little meerkat <laughs> sticks his head out. <laughs> the squirrel that attacked James's mom pokes around. It. You're going to be up all night making that happen now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be animating this all night. And so John and, and Ramsey, they're like, oh, no, fucking shit. And now... Davos, who's sort of like this commander guy, although he's never really led an army, um, <laughs> they know. are, it's all going down. This is all going to happen pretty quick. Davos and his iron bib. Yeah. Davos says, you have an iron bib? <laughs> yeah. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> my ravioli will not bend me this day. <laughs> Chef Boyardee! I was gay! Yeah, and so they, they start launching bottles of uh, bottles of juice at him. Warmed up Sunny D. I don't know why I'm saying Okay, so uh, the army time... Wow, we have so many more screenshots to get through. Mm -hmm. So this arrow situation was fucking crazy. They just start shooting arrows at John and, at, you know, at the field and stuff. Like, take that, field! Yeah, I mean, so, yeah, the important thing to know is John is, like, out in the open. He's John, far yeah. from his army. He's close to the totally. enemy. Totally. It's nuts. And so, of course, stupid John it, it just takes off running. 
and boom, a bunch of arrows whack. Look at, look at. Yeah, and that I think that's just to kind of send home the message that yeah, Rickon's not coming back. He's yeah, dead. He's a pincushion. He is up in heaven doing what he loves, which is being captured <laughs> and saying nothing. Yeah, and saying nothing with his dad. Uh, wondering why Bran keeps showing up in the mirror. <laughs> 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 they mirrors in heaven. Uh, there, there's tears. Of course, in they, well, hey, good one. There's also stairways, yeah. but there's no mirrors because mm-hmm. everybody's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I thought even everyone was a vampire up there. Well, there's that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, they go charge. Get over there! It's Braveheart time. And so fucking crazy. And one one is like, rawr, rawr, rawr. and you were mentioning you're upset that one one didn't have a weapon. Well, we'll get to more of that. It looked. I thought for a second this is this is more just his armor. This is just kind of yeah. a thing that holds it up. This is like a brooch basically for him. And so they're uh, they go they go running in. Get him! Uh, we're gonna go fight him. And finally, we get to see a giant set piece fight. This was not something we've seen much of in the show. There's been hints at it. Uh, by the way, horses have fucked up teeth. You ever look inside a horse's mouth? Never look <laughs> ne- a never gift, look horse. A gift horse in the mouth. There never look a, never look a present horse in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they're running. This shot was amazing. Every so so many cool shots in this whole show. Mm. They, they took their time. James, you said that the same director... Of Hard of, Home did this one. And that's a, the episode of Jon Snow goes north of the wall he, with Tormund yes. to try to talk the white the uh, wildlings into coming back because the white walk, and then they get attacked. That's the famous one where the Night's uh, King, White Walker King, yeah. raises his arms and goes, what now, bitch? So, and, same and, director. Yeah, and this entire uh, battle scene actually took four weeks to shoot. Really? Yeah. Four whole weeks. Yep, Man. it's worth it. Takes me four weeks to shoot, wink. Uh, wink. And so uh, John's charging in. Like, come on, John. You yeah, it's... reckless idiot. He's totally being manipulated by. Because what it sounds to say, don't do what he wants you to yeah. do. And what's he doing? I'm going to do exactly what he wants me to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart. I'm going to go over there by myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but it, it's so crazy. And these arrows are flying. And they, uh, look yeah. at all these arrows. And the horse is like, yeah, gee, thanks, John. Yeah, right. <laughs> I really appreciate it, dude. <laughs> and obviously they need a bigger plate here <laughs> yeah. to uh, protect them. And so the horse takes it, and John goes rolling, and it's like, oh, fuck. And Ramsey, of course, is cool and calm, which is never a good sign. And he's like, he keeps going, knock, loose, knock. You know, he's doing it. And John's hurt already, right? He's not stabbed. Yeah, he, he staggers up a little bit. I think you're a little dazed after yeah. being rolled off a horse that just got shot. So he's a little fucked up, but he's still pissed, and he's, like, ready to go. And this whole sequence was awesome. I was wailing on the screenshots here. He's going, no, it's ends here. On Jon Snow, and she takes off his belt, and James goes, "Oh no, nudity! I can't." Take no, it. I thought he was gonna spank uh, Ramsay. <laughs> spank him. So hey, happy birthday! <laughs> uh, no, uh, did you think he was like gonna duck? Just like kind of kill himself? Like, I, I, like, like I, I thought I was afraid at the time that he was gonna be dropping his sword in defeat, oh, yeah. and I was like, "That's not the Jon Snow that I right. thought I knew. No, he, he can't was... do this. This would destroy his character." Yes, it would. That would be bad. I, you know, they might kill him. It's fucking Game yeah. of Thrones, man. Mm-hmm. And um, no, but he's just taking it off to make it a little more mobile, mm-hmm. and he just gets his sword out. This whole thing took its time. Jon Snow looks awesome. He's standing there. He's Music like, is welling. Yeah, the whole it was so intense. I was just loving this, man. This is some amazing, amazing television. Uh, movies don't get this good. No, no. Some, uh, maybe. And the but... scene that's coming about right now, mm-hmm. the thing, I was telling you when this, this was what? happening. Oh, it, when they came crashing past John? Yeah. Yes. And it gets into John's actual fight scene. Oh, well, hold on. Yeah, so let's... Which is right here. Yeah, it starts up pretty close to... Not not quite yet. Not quite yet. So, um, yeah, but they, the, all of a sudden, John doesn't actually attack all those horses as they get to him. Mm-hmm. The, the two lines collide, and uh, they show... Uh, you know these dudes have nothing much. Uh, these are the archers. That's who I'd want to be. Yeah. I'd, I'd be this. I'd be this guy. I'd be like, oh really? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'd be like, I left a pot of fucking weird tea bound back at the log fire. Can we get fucking through this shit? So uh, Davos is commanding the troops in the back. Ramsey's commanding the troops on his side, and they don't have a lot left. Um, <laughs> they've got two rows of archers basically, yeah, that's and um, some sticks <laughs> over here. Hopefully, maybe they'll. Uh, bad guys will impale themselves on these uh, unlikely. And so Ramsey's, co- of course, confident. The horses aren't very confident because they're fucking stupid horses. Um, cool arrows and bows. And Davos is like, shoot, whatever. And then... Now, I was a little confused by that part. Did Davos order them to shoot? Or did Davos uh, no, say no. don't shoot because you'd hit your own men? Let's back it up. Though. But I think Ramsey shot no. into his own men. Davos said we won't shoot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is Braveheart shit, though. Just like, yes. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. Another amazing shot. This is a budget part of the budget mm-hmm. that they spent. This cool arrow fucking shot when they turn and they come in on the field and Ramsey is happy to murder anybody down there. 
And he's got a lot of back. He's got several rows of, of cavalry and, 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 yeah. and uh, footmen. It reminds me so much of that scene from Braveheart where Longshanks yep. is on the battlefield and he's and he orders to fire. And I yes. think, I don't remember if it was Robert the Bruce or who it no, was. No, it was one of his, it was like yeah, the guy he, that gives the order. He said, but sir, yeah. we'll, we'll hit our men. He goes, yes, but we'll hit theirs yeah. as well. well yes. Fire. We'll hit theirs as well. But yeah. pardon me, sir. Well, well, to hit our men. Um, so yeah, horses. This one took what right up the uh, little horse weenie. Just like a kebab. And uh, there they go, fighting. John, as the guy points out, one of the uh, D DBW <laughs> Benny Hoffies at the end, says that so many of these battles were, this is the battle sequence that James <laughs> is talking about, by the way, but um, were about luck. Like, John yeah, is a yeah. skilled fighter, but you just got lucky. Yeah, and you he can't got, watch 360 degrees at all times. An arrow flying in could take you out any second. Horses charging in all directions, yeah. shit's all crazy. And so, did you have... Yeah. There's obviously more you wanted to say The about thing this. that I love about this scene is that my biggest beef with battle scenes in great movies like Gladiator, Braveheart, any epic mm -hmm. scene... The opening sequence of Gladiator. Oh, especially yeah. bad. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. But it's always a bunch of quick cuts, close-ups, blurry shots, for, like you were saying, like Saving Private they, Ryan. They lower the, stuff, shutter the, frame, the shutter speed yeah. frame rate. It may, it obscures the action to hide the fact that is not the best shot type of sequence. I just clarified though the Saving Private Ryan one was an excellent artistic choice. They did that to yeah. make it more like the shell footage. shock type thing. Yeah, but that that was they kept it I think at twenty frames just, or mm -hmm. I'm, somebody can correct it whatever. But like I mean where they cut it they cut it to like two frames a second. They really yeah. cut it. It's fucked mm -hmm. up. Yeah, but, continue, continue. but in this one, it's a very long shot, continual shot of yeah. really well-executed combat between Jon Snow and the invading army. Yeah. Not in, well, not invading, but is that a head? That's Hitler's head. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> okay, there's a head well, there. Well, so much is on screen. So many yeah. things are happening. We got horses charging in from all sides. We got arrows landing. We got Jon Snow cutting bitches and stabbing dudes. It's but it's all happening very, in one, one continual yeah, shot. Very well choreographed. Yeah. It doesn't look fake. doesn't feel disingenuous. It's, right. it's an amazing scene. A lot of times you can tell that it's a guy swinging at tennis balls. Mm -hmm. It feels like green screen. And I'm sure there was a lot of, of course there was a lot of stuff going mm -hmm. on. But they did an amazing job here. Really, really yeah. incredible. There this, was a cut. Eventually it does end. But James was saying like, wow, this is a, uh, we yeah. were both like, oh my God, James, get me some more tiki masala. Yeah. And, uh, oh, 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 dude. He, he needs to make room on a shelf for some Emmys. <coughs> Who's he? Uh, Kit Harrington and the oh, visual he, okay. effects team for this episode. Yeah, especially the visual effects team, for sure. Um, you know, Kit Harrington wasn't even there. No, oh, he yeah. Was doing, he was doing coke off of a stripper's uh, forehead. <laughs> and so, but man, and, you know, chop, chop, swing, cling, cling, a lot of that, you know, but it was more like, you know, that's mud, yep. mud and blood. And so the people are charging it. Look at this horse. Oh, oh that's brutal. Help me, Wilbur. Is that Mr. Ed? Is that <laughs> That's that? Mr. Ed. What did I do? Charlotte's Web. That's Wilbur Mr. is the pig from Charlotte's Web. Fuck! All right, we're getting confused here, guys. Sorry. Ah! <laughs> you took my lunch! I had a turkey sandwich! Of course, he died. And uh, arrows everywhere. But, but um, the arrows are pouring in. And... Um, Wow, everywhere, dude. St it's, this guy got stabbed. Uh, it's, it's this horse. guy, it's, this horse guy with horse stabbed. arms. <laughs> horse arms guy got stabbed. He's going, knock or loose, or whatever he's saying. This is also how Simpsons kiss, you know, Simpsons characters. Simpsons. <laughs> you know, when they kiss, their lips turn into tubes. And... So again, this is Ramsey again firing on his own people. In yes, a yes. He's just happy to kill everybody. And boy, does he. He gets them all. They are going down. Oh, that sucks. He put the bib on. It hit all around the bib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everywhere but the bib. I wish it was just like a bunch of bouncing off. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And then, a, then a, a can of ravioli lands on it. <laughs> so ugly, horrible fight. I imagine this is what some of these wars were like. I'm sure these were terrifying things. I, I'm grateful to be alive in this time because mm -hmm. of air conditioning cookies and I never have to be one of these dudes. Yeah. <laughs> This, when you just, you grabbed a bunch of pointy shit and you charged at another group of dudes mm -hmm. holding pointy things and they probably were stronger. <laughs> oh, slight, whoa, <laughs> listen to me, what the fuck am I doing? But Kit is uh, all over, I mean, he is just murdering people, I guess it's not murder, it's, I don't know, whatever, how mm -hmm. that works, but um, arrows everywhere and the bodies are piling up. This sort of would be about my only minor quip. Uh, but it is a very extreme situation where the body is sort of conveniently stacked up yeah, to was, form what what comes up later. It looked more like a scene from the 300 than it did Well, the body is part of it. Yeah. But yeah, the, the way the action was presented, though, was like, how do they do this shit with horses? Where do they find horses willing to do this kind of stunt work? Men in horse suits. Men in horse suits. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's amazing. I'm sure it's CGI, but uh, it's incredible. It's so cool. John's all bloody and gross, and you know this guy. He's got a, uh, you know, uh, it's very clean chainmail. Chain it's pretty clean. You know, maybe it was under his helmet though. You know, what do you expect it to be rusty and gross? These guys were back. These are alive back when it all was built. So yeah, this is the stack of bodies. <laughs> like, like, like there's dudes everywhere and. Boy, just climbing over that, I would. Uh, I'd be stealing wedding rings, James. <laughs> I'd be looking for a phones and iPods. <laughs> um, but guys are climbing everywhere, and it was sort of this big ugly pile. And Davos just goes, "Fuck, we gotta get in there, boys!" And so he gets his little gang of uh, archers, and there they go. <laughs> yeah, what do you say? We might as well be. Yeah, crapping back here. Yeah, yeah, we might as well be taking diarrhea shits back here like I do before mm, yeah. the battle. So he's got his butthole filled with cotton swabs and. By the way, I'd want to be the dude holding the horse. Okay, I'll be back here, guys. Uh, that's you go one, have that, a good fight. That's clearly one one. That's one, yeah. James. <laughs> you silly guy. Uh, these are this is a this is a hiker. This guy just wandered off the Appalachian Trail and he's wondering where he could set up his tent so I can <laughs> he's just filter getting, my he's, water. He's getting his Fitbit steps in. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for my Fitbit, you know, how I get ten thousand steps. I give nope. it to my assistant. I say, mm -hmm. don't come back until I get ten thousand steps. You stupid bitch. Um, so, uh, Umber, with this chain, motherfucker. And there's a, right behind him, another shot was a skinny Hodor. Skinny Hodor right there? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, look at that, skinny Hodor. Yeah. That guy is called, um... Lodor. Lo yeah, I can't <laughs> think of it. I was thinking of some. I was thinking, what else is a fence? It's, it's, uh, it's Swingate. I don't mm -hmm. Swingate? Come on, Hank, you could do better than that, you idiot. So, uh, they go at it, and they're like, okay, we're gonna fight! And this guy's, I keep wondering what's gonna happen here. Like... Obviously, he's a mid-level boss. You know, yeah. he's not just going to take it. Although sometimes he's like, if an arrow just landed in his forehead right now, I'd be yeah. like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, he, he's sort of like the 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 white man Viking character. Yeah, of the of they're the, all white men. Well, I was about to say, yeah, the white, but the white, giant white barbarian. Yeah, the yeah. giant white barbarian yeah. of Westeros. Yeah, basically. sure. Yeah. And then you have the the equivalent of that from the north is Tormund. Right. So I was hoping the two of them would meet in combat. Yeah, they're because he goes. Remember, he's like, "I've been fighting wildlings my whole life." I mean, I love it. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been killing them forever. So, um, wow, look, there's long, long is, it, is it actually bending? I guess swords do do that. It's a little bendy. Yeah, I would imagine swords are bendy, but it also doesn't look very sharp, does it? No. Probably one of these safety swords. Yeah. Uh, I call bullshit. I want to see real blades on the battle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, there's the flayed guy. Looks like, a, looks like somebody trapped red Gumby onto his <laughs> shirt, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> this is so fun. I, this episode was amazing. Oh yeah, John's down on the ground and he's like, fuck! And the guy goes, ah, John! Ah! And then, of course, swing! Gave him a, a chest boner mm -hmm. with his giant knife. And uh, fuck, he's dead. Uh, there's the big Tormund with his red hair. His head is getting sweaty. Is that a man without a head? That Oh yeah, this is the scene. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This, this horse runs by. <laughs> no head on the guy. That's <laughs> the all. headless horse, man. That was awesome. That was Johnny Depp. <laughs> yep. yep, Sleepy Hollow. So uh, John Snow's having an intense day. Oh yeah, this part comes running up, and he like, does he punch the horse over, or he kicks I, a guy I think or something? He, uh, kicks. I can't quite it's hard remember. To, it looks like he kicks in the shot, but I feel like he's more of a puncher. Maybe he's a kicker. Um, so he's charging in. He's going, I'm running, and um, man, it, it all just happens so quick. Here, here comes the big scary guy back here, and. Uh, this looks like uh, I've seen an actor that looks like that guy. These guys are having a blast. So I'd, uh, this would be fun. I would. That would be cool. Uh, over there, fight others. <laughs> he's trying to figure it all out. He still has all his hit points at this point. Yeah, he's but, fully hit. Well, yeah. no, there's a, he's lost 15 hit points with right. his arrow sticking out. Oh, that, oh that, I thought yeah. that was like a little decoration. That's not right. a decorative arrow, James. Mm. Nor is it an ear piercing. <laughs> he, he's got gauged ears. He's a hipster. So they running through the flayed shields start circling in. This okay, here's the piles. I mean, these are this looks like they're in a landfill. Yeah, this is where things start going south. There would be some pile. There would be a concentration of bodies somewhere, but it was weird that it was like climbable big piles. I've never been in this situation. I'm basing this off deductive reasoning, mm -hmm. and I have watched one or two episodes of that Sherlock uh, TV show, so I think I know what I'm talking about. So this is where shit starts getting real fucked up. This was cool. I didn't expect this at all. Yes. They form this, and as the guy explains at the end, like this sort of uh, Roman phalanx uh, yeah, it's, puncture. Yeah, it's how Hannibal thing. crushed the Romans. Yes, and they just they 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 form this barricade, this shield wall, and then they use big old spears and they poke you. They poke you. They treat you like a big old pincushion. And um, that guy got took one in the face. That's no good. I would have. Uh, yeah, these are the guys behind the shields. So. 
That's funny. It's just like they do yeah. that. So at this point, you know, smart John's army is yeah. They're doomed. walled in off the the zombie wall, the, the the stack of zombie bodies. Yeah, and at one point they start trying to climb over the bodies to escape, and then right. the army's pushing over top of the body and yeah. just like taking them down so as they try and climb out. They have absolutely no way to escape. Yeah, totally. It's crazy. So you gotta think though, as a physics, maybe Vsauce can do an explainer video or something where like as they merge in, the circle tightens. The circle they can't have the same number of dudes in the middle. You know what I'm saying, James? Mm -hmm. There'd be a tightening of the... Okay, all right. Yep. Um, but what I would do, if I were one of these guys, I would reach out, grab a spear, and give it a yank. I'd pull it in, and then I have a spear. But then if they pull it back, it's going to basically slice right through your hands when the well, tip of the spear comes back through. Sure, but would... you just got to hope you have a better grip than the guy mm -hmm. holding it. Maybe you catch him by surprise, James, just like paintball, or just like a uh, fucking uh, whirly... Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> All right, so uh, there they are. Okay, so yeah, this is where they come up over the pile, and they come. This guy comes over. He goes, "Ah, no, get back down the pile there, Like it must be weird to stand on a pile of bodies. Mm -hmm. I stand on my bed sometimes, and it feels weird. <laughs> I sleep standing up. To be honest, I'm a <laughs> very disturbed person. Mm -hmm. And so they climb down the hill. It's all blood, blood, blood. Okay, all right, all right. Finally, I've been waiting to talk about this. Why the fuck? Does this big old one one guy giant not have a tree in his hand? And a huge log, a top, a baseball bat, top heavy, <laughs> boulder tied to the end of a cool stick. Why doesn't he have um, a giant something, a weapon? Oh, yeah. Nothing. I think he, the answer he, is he, obvious. He's so. poking at these sticks with his fucking fists. Hold on. Or here's another weapon. Guess what he's surrounded by? Two hundred pound. Big bags of man bones. Skeletons covered in human mus muscle tissue. He could pick up one of these fucking dead dudes and swing their bodies around like a weapon. Right. That would be an effective club. So, Way more effective than a stupid thing. You got to retort? You yes, got to rejoin? The, the whole reason they're doing this is because... The, Bring it. The one thing that's holding John's army at bay is the formation around them. The, the shield wall is keeping them at bay. They right. can't get through that. That's the death of them. That that They are the Jedis in the trash compactor. They, are, <laughs> they stand no chance. The little creature with the eyeball pops yes. up out of the bomb. Yeah. So if if in a case where one one had a giant weapon where he could sweep it along and knock a wall free, that would open up an avenue of escape for the army, and that would create a situation where what's about to happen would not be as epic as it would be had they remained in this death squash. Sure. So they're in this... Not, so, so I agree with you. It makes no sense that he would go into battle without a yeah. weapon. But I think they did that intentionally to serve the story better because it would be unbelievable that he wouldn't be able to get them out of the situation had he been armed in the way that we would expect him to have been armed. I don't think your reasoning is horrible, but you're wrong. Because... I, I, because they, that would, yes, present a notion that he could sweep off a bunch of them and kill them. Like he did with the mm -hmm. Whites when they were being attacked at Hardhome. Mm -hmm. He had a big log and he was swinging it and he was taking out two or three attacks. He could take out four or five of these guys, really mm -hmm. bang a huge dent in the wall. But that would mean that they would have to respond to that and they'd probably just nail him with a. I I mean, there's an answer to that that would have fit the story. They could have killed him sooner. They could have done something. I don't, I understand what you're saying. But you're saying, oh, well, because the story, in order to propel the story, requires that they would have given up one of the most powerful things they could have had here, which is this fucking giant. And him and his stupid fists is not what you go into battle with. You have a log. <laughs> Captain's log. John's not a smart guy. Yes, he is. How dare you? <laughs> don't make fun of the dead, James. I get what you're saying. I don't think you're, you're not wrong, but I'm right. I'm more right. He needs a weapon. It's stupid that he didn't have a weapon. I'm just no, saying. No, I'm not saying it's, it's stupid that he didn't have a weapon. It is stupid he didn't have a weapon, but... Look at this a, shot right here. Reason for Look, it. take... Look, he needs a big old stick, whoosh, and then a guy runs up and pokes him, whoosh, and then maybe they disarm him or something, and then he's stuck with it. They or, could have explained it that way. But they would have why, killed why him not at that point. Wait, Maybe he uh, charged in and he had his big old weapon or something. His mace, his... Uh, what, what, what? What's a good weapon? Uh, for a giant? Some insults. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, something... And boom, he takes a shot to the arrow and he drops it because it ma makes him open his hand. Like they could have done, you know, in movies where they have to like they use like one throwaway line just to sort of explain something mm. that otherwise would cause criticism. They didn't even address it. He would have a fucking weapon. Go, your turn. I, I think you're the only person on the planet complaining about this episode right now. <laughs> I'm not complaining about the episode. I love the episode. I'm oh. just saying this this specific uh, detail is crazy to me that they wouldn't give the the, the their strongest thing weapon. It's like bringing a catapult and being like, well, the story yeah, required I mean, that they forgot the boulders and they don't have anything to shoot, so they're just going to 
spank the catapult against yeah. its own crossbeam. I think from a story perspective, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but from a progression of events perspective, I think it would have made him too overpowered. It would have threw more questions into the mix than they wanted to deal with. He could have broken the wall easily. Yeah. And if, he, and if he could have broken the wall, then John's army wouldn't have been trapped. And if John's army isn't trapped, then they're not hopeless. And if they're not hopeless, then... I'm saying that you're right, but there are ways they could have... Um, is Ameliorate, um, Amelia Earhart <laughs> ameliorated <laughs> that issue by having some... Maybe they hit him with a catapult shot or something. Like, maybe they do something to take out his weapon. I'm just saying, I agree with you, but what you're saying is not enough to convince me that they wouldn't bring him a weapon. I'm not saying that the filmmakers forgot, because obviously it was a deliberate choice. Mm. So uh, I, I'm going to be writing George R. 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 Martin. Okay, is, he is my senator. I'll edit a lightsaber in a sand. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that. That would take a lot of work. But a I log could, saber. I could, I could do it. A log saber. <laughs> it's got like bugs coming out of it. <laughs> oh, okay, so all right, let's get back to the story. I, I don't know. I no, I, we didn't start a timer here, James, so I have no idea how fucking far we are. So this guy's going, oh, I just bought this chain mail. <laughs> my wife gave it to me. She bought it from Gander Mountain. I'm fucked. And uh, they're going through, and they're... Uh... <laughs> his guts are coming. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, he's not a Stark. Yeah, what if he just started eating, like, whatever food was in his... He's just, mm -hmm. It still has flavor. Um, oh, you're saying... Oh, you and that Arya. So you're more upset about the... Uh, okay, that's my Arya. One ones, no weapon, is what pisses me off That in the way that you're pissed off that Arya had a healing stomach. What if uh, What if one one had needle? Well, that would have been better than what he fucking had. He had nothing. <laughs> He could have pierced his other ear with needle. Yeah. So um, these guys are all, you know, they're all dying. There's piles of bodies. It's really grisly, though. I mean, the whole yeah. thing was kind of fun. like right there. Ooh, what was? What is this? The Walking Dead director's cut, and John's still fighting now. Oh, oh yeah, here he is. Uh, oh, that's where he tears a guy in half. I think. Yeah, and then again, he's, he's taking critical hits. Every now yeah, and he's taking big hits. Use a body as a weapon. I know I've already said that. So they're trying to probe the wall. It's really tough. Um, big old red beard keeps going at it. He's going. Maybe Brian's on this side of the wall. Oh no. Shot. <laughs> oh, he takes a poke. Yeah, his, his buddies, his uh, his. They uh, pull him back. This guy's the drummer. This one's the bassist. Yeah. This guy sets up all the tech. There yeah. he is. They pull him back. And he's so I don't get the impression he would pull himself back. Sure. No. Yeah. Like you mean like he does? He's he's such a wild maniac. Yeah. He would go in it to the death. He would and, require physically. Right. Physical I don't think the riders wanted him to die in this fight. So Probably I think not. they had them pull him back. Certainly yeah. not. Yeah. And especially with the Brienne. Um, you know, I hope the next episode is just one hour of him and Brienne just going at it uh this is the axe guy okay so they're, they're they they pull him back and the wall is this is dangerous man this is all i mean i bet even just filming this there was people who probably got their feet he stepped on maybe <laughs> maybe their feet got wet in the mud and so it's crazy they're really squeezing them in there there's the wall of dead dudes there's oh, is that ramsey back all up there maybe yeah, it could it, be yeah actually I, I think you might be right about that I think so too. This is the uh, one of the dragons spitting out fire. Right. No, that's a hot rod. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear, what is this symbol? It's one of the flayed. Oh, that symbol? That's one of the um, allies of the Starks, though. Yeah, I'd have to look at it. Yeah, there's the bears, and there's the. It must because they, they did they did uh, call up a few other houses that mm -hmm. came there. Maybe it's a wildling. No, they don't do flags. No. They're not organized. They don't have a human resources department. So, uh, oh, here comes James's big moment with the two. Oh well, no, not yet. It's about to it's about to happen, and uh, man, it just John. So oh, John's yeah. getting trampled a little bit yes. at some point. So, I don't know if it's right here or not, but yeah, okay. But this is Tormund. He does get yeah. This all kind of happens at the same time. Tormund and Umber go at it, and they really have a throwdown. Um, Okay, but yeah, now we're cutting into the John shot. Yeah, and John, so John can't obviously can't help him because he's being pounded into the ground by yes. you know everybody's running over him. It's yeah, sort of chaotic. They're being crushed. Yeah, they're being crushed. They're being pinned in. No one can go anywhere. And, and you know these tramplings, stampedes, mm -hmm. they kill people, dude. Oh, yeah. they, people get fucking like every once in a while. It happens quite frequently at the Hajj, which is a great mm -hmm. Muslim gathering. The, there's like hundreds will die. All these people gathered in these areas that aren't designed for like healthy or safe mm -hmm. evacuations. In Chicago, a nightclub, there was a shooting or something, and somebody, uh, a, tramp, uh, a trampling situation happened in the staircase where oh, yeah. it got blocked up, and like mm -hmm. like twelve or twenty people died. I did a bunch of reading about it. People can't breathe; you get your bones crushed, your mm -hmm. chest gets compressed. Yeah, it's horrible. You could die. It's mm -hmm. not just like you're buried under people; you're buried under several thousand pounds, mm -hmm. and so you're fucked. And so as the light keeps closing, but then of course, John, it would be weird if they just killed John. Yeah, he gets trampled by his own army. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the weirdest way for him to die, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then the lady, the red lady comes over and she goes, oh. <laughs> 
I will bring him back. And so, of course, he kind of squeezes his way out of there, and he goes... <gasps> and people are drawing parallels between this scene and the scene where Daenerys is in the middle of Slaver Bay, basically, oh. and all the arms are coming in on her, showing that she's in control, but he seems to be at his most out of control now. Interesting. So, so that's her sort of uh, being... Um, held to the sky by her mm -hmm. people whereas this is sort of him being almost born out of violence yeah. as if this writhing mass of sweaty bloody mud strewn men is a nutrient filled placenta from which John has emerged and gone titty we'll, we'll never get this on the Disney channel no. <laughs> yeah we've been in negotiations to get our, our video game I mean our, our Game of Thrones <laughs> what's is that a pot is that one one that's a horse yeah. oh that's <laughs> yeah that's a horse <laughs> That's the rock monster from that movie with the fast snail, Labyrinth. Mm -hmm. Is that Labyrinth? It's some uh, some eighties and never ending movie. story. Never, no. Yeah, the no. rock monster, never ending story. What am I thinking? No, I'm thinking of the one with the snail, with the, the speedy snail, the guy that drives around on the fast snail. Maybe it is the never ending story. Yeah. All right, well, whatever. Let's keep question. So he's getting poked and prodded. He's getting stabbed everywhere. He's got these big old bones, and this is like his armor, but it's you know, hey, hey, uh, hey, genius. The uh, don't put on a second set of rib cages, okay? Those those have holes in them. So, uh, boy, he's having a hard day. <laughs> Speaking of hard day, <laughs> that's him. He just got an erection thinking about Brienne. So they're uh, fighting. Oh, the things are all crazy here. Oh, does anybody smell onions? Is it just me? Oh, okay. All right. You know, my nose is... Okay. Um, John's uh, dirty and gross, and he's almost turning into a wild animal. This is the fight, James. This, this is where Tormund gets the upper hand against yeah. Umber by uh, taking a... Taking a, was the, it, the snap it to a, a free Twix. ear surgery. Hungry sneakers, yeah. something yeah. like uh, that. Once you once you pop, you can't stop yep. ripping off ears. By the way, speaking of ears, geez, look at these teeth. Yeah. Motherfucker, what is this guy? Part beaver? <laughs> and um, so, the, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> this guy's going, I think I see an airplane. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we uh, um, Or he's worried about birds pooping on him. <laughs> Bo, imagine getting Drogo pooping on you. Ooh, I bet that, it's warm. That would—I was about to say that'd be probably yeah. a, so, a steam bath. Rawr, he pulls off his ear. That's the squirty blood from the ear. Although it looks I like I thought it was his throat, but maybe you're right. I don't know. Oh, well, I don't think an ear would make that kind of a blood spurt. Well, sure. From this shot, maybe it was his throat. I just assumed it was his ear. I thought it was his throat because I thought that's what killed him. I just always figured ears were easier to get a, your teeth around. Yeah. They they stick out on like throats. Um, maybe that is what he did, though. Okay, I'll go with it. It was hard to tell. It was all happening really mm -hmm. quick. Um, and then uh, Ramsey's like, oh, gross. <laughs> Fucking, is that an ear or a throat? I'm too far away to tell. Plus, we don't have eyesight doctors. So, so now half of us had blurry vision anyway. So Ramsey sees something in the distance that kind of... Yeah, well, we hear, we hear... <laughs> which, James, as we all know, mm -hmm. when you're trying to sneak up on someone, you blare a horn yes. from across the hill mm -hmm. so that they know... And guess who it is? Ready, James? Tell me. Three, two, one. Yes! It's uh, Varys and his army. <laughs> Varys comes marching up. <laughs> They're all just coming in robes slowly. He comes sashaying up like the end of Birdcage. <laughs> Hello, Varys. Da, 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 da. He's got like a pineapple yeah, on his it, hand. It's and... his little bird's army. It's my me and my little birds are going to whisper secrets to everybody. But it's, it's Lord Baelish. Littlefinger. It's Littlefinger. The and Knights his, of the Vale. Yes, the Knights of the Vale. These guys are tough fighters. They're they knights. seem to be well armored, well prepared, well yep. equipped. And they probably just had some breakfast. Mm -hmm. You know, they're on their way. Here they come. And this is like, finally. We all kind of yeah. knew this was coming. I think we, I think we weren't too surprised. Yeah, and this is not. And uh, yep. <laughs> them coming that, down the hill. They came charging through. They completely <laughs> took over the battle. Um, yeah. right Winterfell here, looks a little different. Yeah, but, you know. Completely changed. Just a different here. angle. It's the lighting of yeah, it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, and led led by a, a brave master, a wizard of, yeah. of, of tremendous power, and they, they they were able to turn the tide with a with, with an incredible surprise. Yeah. So, um, man, boy, did those helms go deep. So, <laughs> uh, there he is, the wizard I was speaking about, with his little birdie whisper. It looks like he's bird on a power line. I can't not think of a power line whenever mm -hmm. I see that. With Sansa, she joined up. And yeah, they're buds. Which proves that she was the one who wrote the letter. You know? Well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, for sure. And so, um, boy, I mean, they're not, they're fine now. I mean, she did the right thing. Mm -hmm. She was totally validated by all this. We don't know how this is going to play out politically with the right. English afterwards, but at this point in time, had she not done this, Jon Snow would inevitably be dead, Winifel would be lost, Ramsay would win. And Baelish is the devil you know versus the devil you don't, although they mm -hmm. also did know Ramsay, so that doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. But he's a way better 
uh, foe. I'd rather argue with Baelish and get manipulated by him than deal with Ramsey in any way. Yeah. So, you know, him around is trouble, but they needed him, and he'll obviously use it to his advantage. We'll find out in another episode. Mm -hmm. um, so John's like, whoa, yes! <laughs> the airport found my luggage! That's how excited <laughs> he is. He's so happy, Ramsey's like, oh, fuck, the airport found his luggage. <laughs> Rawr! What? Oh, that's where he starts stabbing him yeah, in the face. He finishes him off with that. Yeah, with his crazy little knife, and he just starts going, ah! Oh! Now, James, these next couple shots, awesome. Oh, yeah. Loved them. These oh, were yes. so cool. Boom. Boom. Breaks. And this is, Boom. This is what I'm so saying. Fun. This is why 1-1 uh, one, one couldn't have done it, because it would have robbed us of a scene like this, breaking through the wall, making an opening. Yeah, well, they could have taken out 1-1's one -one's weapon and reformed the wall or something. James? Where is 1-1 one -one in this shot? He's he's right there. you got to get your eyes checked, man. I don't know what the fuck it's, is wrong. It's still a horse. You have health insurance. You have... you. I'll take you. We'll get burritos and we'll go to the eye doctor. Come on. I'm joking. What? I know, but I want I want you to have your eyes looked at. I care about you. Did, <laughs> did you know? Has anybody ever said they care about you? Want to make eye contact? No. All right, fine. <laughs> I'm taking so, my eyes off. <laughs> James is covering his eyes and going, la, 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 la. <laughs> so, all right. So this was a beautiful shot, though. I loved it. It was so cool. It did a great job. Obviously, it's CGI or whatever. I don't think they actually did it, but it looked great. It felt, it just, it was emotionally satisfying. Mm -hmm. It worked great. And, uh, oh, finally. Remember I said oh, what I said? I go, yes. Like, he, he has a fucking weapon. He beats people with a skateboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his, uh... <laughs> He goes, I want this one. Can I get trucks and wheels? <laughs> so he's shopping for a Flayed Man skateboard. That actually would be a cool skateboard. Yep. And uh, boom, he's finally doing what he should have done. He could have taken up spears. He could have been using a body. He could have picked up a horse. He could have used a horse as a weapon. Mm -hmm. That would have been amazing. But you notice, see, they waited until the wall was broken before they let him let loose. He, he gets out the, the, the serving platter. Well, mm -hmm. I still think it's for s stupid. So, uh, but all right. So the horses charge in and there they are. The blue guys with the blue flags. Very, very, uh, there he is too, 1-1. One, one. He looks mm -hmm. like someone put a video, like a video game character just dropped in on the pile. So, bam! Sansa, yeah, uh, girl. She knows she, <laughs> she saved the day. Oh, yeah. She's like, time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. I am going to sleep great tonight. Nothing <laughs> traumatizing happened at all. <laughs> but uh, it's awesome. So, so there's 1-1, one, one, there's John. Okay. All, he's climbing out of the and pile. This, the next shot you're going to show is uh -huh. my favorite shot of the entire episode. And you know why. Right there? Because when he sees Ramsey across the field, that music that starts playing, that dun da da dun da da dun da yeah. you know it's coming. Yes. Well, what's coming? That John's going to go after him? Yeah, this is yeah. the epic moment where John and Ramsey, the, the battle is reaching its climax. Yes. Well, it's also he can turn his attention to the real villain. Yeah. And uh, he's got to be tired. I mean, mm -hmm. my God. I would be. I get tired. I'm already tired. I'm just talking about this shit. Uh, there. So Ramsey is kind of watching, and John, oh, I like this shot too. This is cool. Uh, Red, Redbeard, and One One come up. And One One goes. I put down my shield because the writers thought it would help story progression for me to have weapon. And so Ramsey goes. Oh well. Uh, and they look at each other, and it's kind of intense. And he goes. Yep. Motherfucker, you ruined my fun. <laughs> and John goes. I'm gonna kill you. And off they go. Ramsey turns around and runs. John takes off, chasing after him. Isn't he in the shot somewhere? I mean, there's one one running. That's one one. It's a kind of an awkward shot there. Yeah. Oh, there he is. That's one one. Yeah. Okay. So John is like behind him, behind his horse uh, pairing, or whatever the fuck. Okay. So where? There we go. Let's keep going. Sansa sees it all go down. They go into Winterfell. They lock the door. And he seems confident because he's saying, "Never mind. We, we have." Well, our... one of his guys goes, "So we have no army." Yeah, here. he says our men are dead, and he goes, "We have yes, but we have Winterfell. They yes. don't. We can we can wait them out in here." You know? Now another quibble. I hate to be this guy. It sounds like I'm being. Ch I, this is their lock. A big log. A big wooden plank board. That's all. No, there's also a little flag outside that says, "This gate protected by ADT." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they put out a bowl with a. It's, 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 it's a Halloween bowl where it's an empty wrapper and it says, please take one, and it looks empty, but it's good. Oh, man. This is stupid. You, you would have more of a fucking... And then they just stand here? So, okay, so that's it? Come on. It's Winterfell. They gotta have a stronger gate than this. Maybe it's a side door. Okay, I'll, I'll grant you that. But they would have, like, some sort of logs. Again, me with my logs. But they would have something to press up against this and lock it or hold it down or something, right? 
Don't you think well, so? Not necessarily, because you have a oh, fortress. We well, you got a fortress, right? And if a fortress is fully manned in that capacity, if someone were attacking the gate at that level, they would be shooting archers down there. They'd be pouring hot oil on them. Uh-huh. There would be a defense before an army would get to that point. So the gate itself, I think, is pretty strong for what it needs to be. They just don't have anyone guarding it the way they need it to be guarded, and they don't you know, anticipate having a giant on the outside of it. So I think, Oh, sure. They don't anticipate the giant. I agree yeah. with that. But they could anticipate, which is something been around for thousands of years, which are those fucking uh, rams that swing under an un- uh, overturned boat, you know, where they go... Yeah. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah. My point is that I'm right, because there was... It, it completely wouldn't be responsible not to have some sort of, I don't know, maybe take this log here or this one and prop it up against the thing. You know who does that, James? Victims. Well, they've only... Vic- no. In movies, when people run into their room and they go, oh my God, the killer's after me. What do they do? They turn around, they grab a chair, mm-hmm. they angle the chair up against the door. If stupid idiot victims can think of, and panicking, can think of to put a chair up against the door... These are military strategists who know that they're about to be attacked. They know that there's a, a siege army on the way. They know there's somebody out there who wants to take them out. Would they have prepared enough to, oh, I don't know, maybe have something to, maybe two of these. Maybe put yeah, up another well, brace here and here and put another fucking log on top of it. Yeah, Bruce Bolton here. was the military strategist. Yeah. Uh, Ramsey is the mad dog. Ramsey's a crazy guy, but he's he's also a pretty good military tactician. He just completely fucked these dudes. He just didn't anticipate the Baelish game. But then again, they've only been inside Winterfell for what? Like 12 seconds at this point? Sure, maybe they were working on setting it up, but they didn't seem to be in any urgency to do it. By the way, you just have some shit leaning up against the wall over there. Okay, fine. All right. Hey, James, would you just not shit on my, my fun here? It's my, I'm in my 30s. It is my tradition in my family to uh, walk into a place and immediately know how to improve it. No. Okay. <laughs> Go to a restaurant. I know what they could do here. All right. You we start got... painting the wall. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just don't mind Why me. Why don't they have that over there or that over there? Jeez, these people are stupid. So I, I, I confess I'm an idiot. So the door starts going boom, crunch, boom, and they get their arrows ready. And uh, it's, uh, oh, that no. That really painful. That was horrible. So, yeah, he punches through, and then they nail him. And he just like rips it. Yeah, he just drags his hand through it. Oh, that hurt. But they're shooting him like crazy from above, and he finally breaks it open. And oh man, this was sad. I yeah, like, I liked that they took their time with this. Mm-hmm. They I mean they they didn't just let him fall and move on. They actually came up, and you know we'll get to that in a second here. And so here comes the uh, guys behind him, and. Boy, he, what the fuck is he so loyal for? I would run back up north and go find me a big old K, a uh, big old giant woman mm-hmm. and uh, have at it, you know? Start uh, reproducing, you know, repopulate the earth. That's the best part about the apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Hey, come on, baby, it's the apocalypse. We gotta have sex. So, um, sad. Look at him, he's still going at it. Yeah. You know, his penis nose hasn't been popped yet. He's pissed off, he's probably full of adrenaline. Some of the arrows are broken, that's pretty cool. Uh, this guy just came out of the bathroom. See? <laughs> hey, who woke me? I was taking a poop with my arrow. My bow. And, um... <laughs> he falls down. They charge in. But there, there's no defenses going on here. I mean, they've got the guys up here. They've got the guy, You know, arrows are dangerous. Man. I mean, when, when he dies, they should all level up. Yeah, they should all level up. <laughs> James is really nailing the video game Go in and loot them. I love it. I love video game jokes. And so, uh... Ow, my... The clavicle. <laughs> These guys are all just getting taken out. This guy's like, I look like Paul Giamatti. Um, not really. All right, so um, arrows in the faces, arrows everywhere. People get blasted, and then this is the part I'm talking about where John comes up and he goes, "Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get you some band aids. We'll get you some uh, neosporin." And, then... and so does Tormund. And, and by the way, cool black. You know, his nose is all blackened and bloodied and gross, mm-hmm. and he's got his big crazy knife. Uh, and then it's one of these next yeah, it's coming moments. up. Ah, hey. And he starts to say something, and John's watching him, and then Boom. crunch. Oh no! Arrow to the eye. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll it popped his old uh, eye, and now he has the exact same vision as James. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> oh, it sucked. As I, the Giants are so. Great. I kind of knew that he was going to die though, because he, he's just too powerful of a character. There's really yeah. no place for him left in the story once he's broached the wall, 
Yeah, it's not like there's hordes of frozen yeah. zombies that the guy could kill him, or maybe I don't no, know, no, like no. flaming, uh, flying uh, r- alligators that breathe fire he that could maybe burn purpose. him, or I don't know, maybe magic that could hurt him, or I don't know, maybe like some. Of course, there's some ways to kill him. That's awesome. We want to escalate, James. Come on, baby. I feel like this was an elegant way for him to go out. Yeah. Well, and then his necklace fell off, and he turned into a 400 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's done, and of course, it was piece of shit. Ramsey did the final blow. Um, probably also does blow. He seems like one of those yeah. guys. And so uh, I'm just looking at the stuff in the back. I wonder if this is the same, if any of this gear is the same as when, like, when Bran is visiting and Hodor nope. is running around. It probably is. Curious. And I mean, that guy's been asleep there since yeah. that time. Yeah, That's the town drunk. Yep. He just He's going he's gonna to wake up and find this dead giant and go, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to climb inside like a tauntaun. So uh, he goes, oh, I killed your giant. Oh. And so they all point their arrows at him. Ran so everyone's, fuck. yeah, they've got a chance to just kill him now but they don't yeah because john doesn't give the order yeah john i kind of wanted john just to go shoot and then mm-hmm. the pin cushion him and he's dead but so john just picks up the shield and he's pissed he is not nothing is stopping him and ramsey shoots and nails the shield and john keeps hiding and he's walking and he's really not making wise choices so he here. hits the shield three times and mm-hmm. i want to kind of pause on this round do you think yeah. there's any sort of symbolism here that he shoots three times it never hits the wolf on the shield oh wow um Probably, <laughs> I don't know. Because you know, maybe if he kept going, he would form a uh, like an X and then another X, and he would form his own. Yeah, maybe. Sy- maybe there's symbolism there. But I, don't uh, know. I don't know if it was supposed to say that he can. He even now he's powerless to touch the Starks. I don't like. It's just no matter what he can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe I reading mean, into it a bit too much. I'd give you a B plus for that mm. one if this was an English English uh, lit class. You know mm. how you you read books and your teacher mm. goes, "What does that mean?" And you make up some shit and she yeah. goes, "Oh, you're really smart." And you go, "No, I'm not." I just hate high school. So uh, then, uh, yeah, so he charges in. Ramsey doesn't put up a fist fight. He just takes it. He hits yeah. him with his arrow-ridden shield, and he starts punching the fuck out of him like it's world star hip-hop. You know? <laughs> it's like, quack, whack, oh, oh, my face, oh, my my, 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 my rapey mouth. Oh, oh. And he starts really fucking him up. Um, I, he... I wanted to see him pummel his head into mush. I wanted mm-hmm. him to turn him into blueberry rhubarb pie, which he kind of does, but, you know. Not, not, not in the way I was hoping for. But he stops for good reason, yes. which is well, he sees his uh, sister, Sansa. She is, uh, she is like, she doesn't really say anything. She doesn't, she doesn't talk a lot anymore. It seems like she just <laughs> writes letters, and he goes, oh, um, sorry, uh, sorry. I mean, uh, he was just laying there, and I had to do something. Yeah. So he leaves Ramsey. Now James Ramsey's probably thinking he's getting out of this alive. Right. I no. thought for sure he was going to go and hand Longclaw to Sansa and say, finish it. Yeah. Oh, that would have been great. Yeah, Longclaw would have been very similar. Now, of course, this oh, is a great this shot. This is by far the most powerful image of the yep. entire season. They cut the uh, rope off. They cut the the the, uh, the the Bruce Bolton's fucking symbols off. Their pile of shields. Mm-hmm. Down goes your flag, fucking assholes. And this, this is it. Yes! Woo-hoo! Awesome. Let's go back. Yes! Oh, yeah! Daddy's necktie is back <laughs> on the castle. <laughs> I'm so happy about that. Look, there's wolf carving into the yeah. thing there. That's like the weirwood tree right there. That's pretty cool. These are um, trees or something. Ned Stark's uh, yep. camp. Uh, and Bran's climbing up the wall. Yeah, Bran, <laughs> little Bran is climbing up the wall. And he, Jamie's fucking his sister up at the top. And uh, so, yeah, I was really grateful to see the dire wolf back up, up there. Mm-hmm. They got one of the cooler symbols, too. Yeah. It was, oh, all right, that's pretty good. I like that symbol flag. That's pretty good stuff. I've got no fingers because uh, <laughs> Stannis cut them off. Maybe but, he's thinking about his old boss. But is he holding the figurine at that point? Oh, I, probably. I think he was, and I think he's looking up knowing the Red Woman's there, and yeah, he still has unfinished business with yeah, her. Yeah, maybe he is holding it. Yeah, that, may, that would make sense. He's still thinking about his, uh, his friend, Shireen, his reading teacher. They were buds. She was nice. And so they walk by. This is, is this Rickon? Yes. Yeah, so he's poked with holes. And he's, he says, basically, go bury him down in the, the crypt next to my father. Yeah, go put him by my dad. Uh, so, great, though. They're back at Winterfell. The Starks are home. Everything's mm-hmm. going to be fine from now on. Yep. Sansa's there. Boom, boom. She goes in to see well, Ramsay. Well, she, she looks to John and says, where is he? Yeah. Where is he? Oh, it's smooth. So, uh, gross hand, he's all bloody, fucked up, and she comes up and he he starts giving her a little of this confident bullshit. Yeah, even now he thinks he's safe. He's like, so is this where, I'll, where I will live from now on? Yeah, he's like, you can't kill me, I'm the guy, and she goes, and she doesn't say much, I forget what she says, she does say something. 
Oh, yeah, they talk probably about the dogs. We see the dog. James called this one, too. He goes, dogs. And I go, oh, yeah, dogs. I want her to kill, kill him. I want her yeah, to Yeah, but she, he says, oh, funny, my, my dogs are loyal. They would never harm yeah. me. And she goes, but they haven't eaten for seven days, just They're, like you said. Yeah, I don't and know. We missed Your this. son's is spot on. That's oh, yeah, yeah. But, but we missed this part earlier on when they first meet each other in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. He does look at the army and says, you know, once... We once I've beaten you, my dogs will come in. I wonder what part of the part oh, of you yeah. they'll eat first. They haven't eaten in seven days. He goes, your eyes, yes. your balls, yeah, your scrotum. So that's how she knows the dogs are emaciated at this point. Right. Yeah. So she knows they're all right, and so they're hungry, and uh, nothing overcomes a dog's loyalty more than hunger, which is why oh. if uh, James doesn't feed me every four hours, <laughs> I will devour his face. <laughs> And so, or the smell of blood, <laughs> which is all over him. Yeah, he's uh, smelly and bloody. And um, the dogs come out. This is pretty well done, though. I, I, I like Sansa. Mm -hmm. I was really compelled, but watch. You know, I think this actress is really wonderful. She's really mm -hmm. nails it because she's just man. Her curse. The, the story arc of her character is nuts. So then they get these dogs to come up and lick lick the uh, sugar jam off his mm -hmm. face <laughs> for the for the and shot. Those dogs are pretty big because they were raised in a big aquarium. Yes. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I cleaned dogs for 12 years <laughs> and so she she knows what's going to go down and she doesn't seem to be too worried or scared or freaked out uh, although this is right at the moment when the dog attacked and she kind of pulls back a little and then comes in and, to watch it a little closer and this is a horrific thing it attacks him right in the face and yeah. is literally biting his face off as he screams yes yes and this is i mean ramsey but, is the most villainous vile yeah. person that you've ever met in any television show or movie in history not as bad as bill cosby okay okay they're on par yeah and to see him finally come to justice yes at the whims of the person that he tortured. Yeah, he raped you, and tortured. You don't and get this kind of yeah. satisfaction very often again. Yes, it's, it, that's very. That's a great point. It's very yeah. rare that this happens. And so she walks off, and a little bit of a smile forms, more than a little maybe, but it's a subtle thing. And she is good, and boom, done. Wow, I was so happy to see him die. Yeah, who, uh, real quick, who's worse, Ramsey or Joffrey? Oh, Ramsey by far. Joffrey is. He was a monster, but he. He wasn't a deliberate monster, I don't think. I think he was just a product of his upbringing. I, I don't he's think, like Donald Trump. Yeah, I think he couldn't help himself. Right. Ramsey knows what he's doing. Ramsey is pure cruelty. Yeah, Ramsey's evil. Yeah, yeah Joffrey yeah. And is he, just, Ramsey takes yeah. Ramsey cuts off dicks and sends dicks to people's d yeah. to d dudes' dads and yeah, he's pretty evil. Yeah, I mean, Joffrey is obviously a psychopath. Yes, and a yes. murderer and a sadist. Yeah, but nowhere near on the same level as sure. this man. Is anybody even near Ramsey's level in this? Not really. Not. I, I mean, who are the good villains left? I mean, Ramsey was was the the man to hate. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So well, we're gonna have to find someone else to hate. So all right. Well, uh, we probably gone Gilly. way too long. Oh, Gilly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, she is so much worse than Ramsey. Yeah. Hello, Sam. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sam. Take me on a vacation, Sam. Oh, Gilly, I want to touch your boobies. But Sam, I want to touch your boobies. More than bigger than yours, Gilly. I know. <laughs> Let's roll. Okay, all right, sorry. Uh, <laughs> okay, fuck. God damn it. It's gone so long. Ugh. Okay, so let's talk uh, best episode of the season? By far. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Better than Hodor? Way better than Hodor. Was that number two? I was the, moved yeah. by the Hodor thing. I yeah, mean, that, Hodor was an but emotional. Overall, yeah. though, this episode definitely—I agree with you. Yeah, th this I, episode had—I don't feel like any scene in this entire episode was wasted. Yeah, I don't feel like the, any time was spent unwisely. It, it basically this was all the action that we were waiting for for seasons upon seasons of buildup. Yes, I agree. Yeah, it was kind of like a long time coming. A yeah. lot of tension got released with that mm -hmm. fight, with the battle. It was great to finally see something happen at Marine. Mm -hmm. That's cool, and it yeah. also indicates that hopefully we can move Danny back to the fucking Westeros so she can start. Screw, you know, I right. think we're, I don't think that's gonna that's not gonna be this season. But now, Euron yeah. Greyjoy is gonna show up, and there's gonna be some shenanigans. But with now, that. if you think about it, though, we've seen Daenerys' show of power. We've seen Jon Snow reclaim Winterfell with the help of Peter Baelish. Yeah, we've seen the Wildlings show what they can do in, in battle in Westeros. Uh huh. The combination of Jon Snow and Daenerys. Who is going to oppose them? Why would they unite? Why wouldn't they? I still think John's a Targaryen, so I'm going uh, to... Is like, that a whole other theory? That, yeah, uh, okay. that, that John was the baby in the Tower of Joy, that he was the product of um, Rhaegar Targaryen and Lysa Stark. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so he was Ned's 
nephew. Yeah, so he's not only is he a Stark, he's also a Targaryen. A Starkarian? Yes. All right. Maybe a Kardashian. Yeah. He does hopefully. have brown hair and yeah. sexy, pouty lips. <laughs> um, wow, that's a lot to throw out there. Uh, so I don't know what's the indication. Isn't So we don't know what any of Danny's uh, end games are. Maybe the only, in, meaning like once she gets to Westeros, it's not like there's been any entreaties sent. Is that a word? Entreaties? I think it's a word. Uh, where she's trying to like put out feelers to see who could, could be her friends when she finally shows up. Well, the thing is, what is Varys she, yeah. might prove to be useful in that way, I guess. Mm -hmm. And maybe Tyrion probably won't be uniting with his family since he's sort of a villain yeah. to them. He's an outcast. They want to kill him. And yeah. uh, so perhaps he would... It, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but John doesn't want to rule the Seven Kingdoms. John doesn't want to sit on the Iron Throne. He wants Winterfell back. He wants to live in peace. He wants to protect his people. Right. He wants, you know, stability in the kingdom. Yeah. He doesn't care about being king in the north, I don't believe. That was Rob Stark's uh, dream. Well, yes and no. Rob, Rob answered the call to for pick vengeance up, for his for, father. Yeah, to pick and, up yeah. where his dad... To, yeah, to, to, but, to right, right the wrong that his dad was taking. But it's not like Rob. Rob was a noble guy. Rob right, was one of the But good, Daenerys good does want to rule the Seven Kingdoms. She wants to take over everything. So she doesn't... She, I don't see that she would see Jon as a threat. N not likely, but she's going to go after everybody. She's going to start... She's going to raise ruckus no matter where she shows up. She's got the Dothraki. She's got the Sellsword army, like mm -hmm. the guy said at the end of this one. She's got the... Dra you know, it's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not... I'm not disagreeing. I'm just saying I don't. I don't see enough evidence to be confident that automatically it's safe to assume that Jon Snow is going to unite with, well, the, with well, who, the Targaryen. Who do we still, what villains do I we still need to see fall? Walter Frey. Uh, He's going to die of old Sure, age, the Frey, though, you know? yeah, well, yeah, they're always, yeah. Um, the High Sparrow Septon, I think yeah. that's what's going to be the subject of the next episode, mm -hmm. is mostly the King's Landing dramas. Yeah. One thing that I'm grateful they've done is they've, they've completely forgotten about Dorne. Mm -hmm. Good. Which I got a look. Fucking I mean, bye. Other than the fact that those chicks are hot. I mean, we should mention that. <laughs> you're saying what you think is going to happen in the last part of the season. There there are teasers and trailers for the next episode. But Did you, you watch them? No, but you don't watch those. So I skipped the preview. And I didn't watch it because you don't want to watch it. So you, well, you, can, you deprived me of this. Well, before we tape this, you can yeah, tape. If you watch it. If you fucking watch it, I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, we tape on, on reel to reel yeah. film here. That's how this works. Yeah, no, you can watch it. You just haven't seen it before with this right now. No. Uh, I don't like... That's all spoilers. Why would you watch the preview? It's fucking... It's, it's hey, a, let's just show you Let's show you uh, 90 seconds of spoilers for the next episode. Uh, your definition of spoiler is different from my definition of spoiler. Yes. A teaser is not a, always a spoiler. Uh, if you know what's coming up, it a spoils... A no, spoil no, no, no. is the reveal of a plot point. That's one definition. Another spoiler is that it reveals where anything happens. You know which characters are going to be in the next episode. I would rather read the book from the first word to the last word. I don't want to skip ahead and read 16 sentences from chapter 4, 14 sentences from chapter 8, 9 sentences from chapter 14, and then start back on chapter 2. Okay, if anyone Because that's this, what a teaser yeah. does. It just, it if anybody gets this far in the video, uh -huh. I would like them to comment to say whether or not they do or do not watch the spoilers. Spoilers, as you would call them, because I would guarantee that most people do watch it. I, didn't, I don't call them spoilers. They're teasers. They're previews. Mm -hmm. I, I am particularly on the high end of the scale of avoiding previews for things I care about. I don't mm -hmm. do it for everything. I watch a preview for Ghostbusters all day. I'm excited about Ghostbusters, by the way. I'm going to go see it. But um, I don't call it spoilers, it, but they, they are spoilers. They reveal things that you don't, that are better off exposed to you for the first time. That's my that's, point. That, that's, it's a more pure that's experience. An object, well, no, it's, it's, subject, subjective, it's subjectively yeah. better to not know what's coming up when you watch the show. I'm just as it doesn't enhance my excitement. I'm already excited. I don't need mm -hmm. I don't need that little extra I, like I, like the little I don't extra. need that titillating shoulder dance when I know I'm gonna bang the hooker anyway. I like knowing what's happening in the next episode in a very vague sense so I can start to speculate as to how events will unfold. Yeah, and I'm not saying you're wrong there at all. I, I'm saying I'm I'm the outlier in this reaction. I get it. I but I I find it a better experience when I watch the next episode. Like I didn't even know that this was called Battle of the Bastards. You found out on Twitter though. because the episodes were, it was delayed. Everybody was mm -hmm. HBO now complaining on Twitter, and I was just looking at the tweets and shit. And someone called it that, and I was like, "Oh, you ruined it! You fucking ruined it!" No, I didn't freak out, but mm -hmm. I didn't know anything. I like it that way. Mm -hmm. You, I'm not. I'm not suggesting you have to be like me. I'm just saying no, that no. I think people get. I, I think we both make valid points here. I just happened. I don't want to know who's even in the next episode because we'll, it'll be great to uh, find out when I watch it. That's all. It's, it feel End like of discussion. I just no, feel good. like you're setting yourself up for anger and disappointment because why? Because the preview is intended to be 
public information. It's something that everyone is supposed to know. It's what everyone's going to be talking about at work and in social places up until the airing of that episode. Uh -huh. So if you deprive yourself of that and try and isolate yourself from something which is supposed <laughs> to be public information, yeah. you're going to be running around with your fingers in your ears going, no, 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 all the time. No, it's la, 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 yeah. la. Yeah, and people are going to think, well, what's he talking about? It's public information. I didn't go and torrent something early and spoiling Ooh. something okay. for you. Everyone knows this. Uh, I hear you, and I appreciate you looking out for my social uh, health at the <laughs> office, which, by the way, I work mostly from home as a video editor, so I don't have any <laughs> fucking life. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the onus is on me to avoid that shit. I'm owning it. I'm just saying. I'm happy I, not when I go it. to work. There, there is a many people who just scream across the office about the previous. Well, sure. Stuff. If there's a risk of that, then that changes the way you ingest information about the upcoming episode. But for me, if I can, I I would like to avoid seeing it. Like I, I do this like once or twice a year with a movie. Mm -hmm. If I know the director is great, like with Inception, I. Saw it was Leonardo DiCaprio, who I think is great. I saw it was, uh, fuck, who the fucking director? I can't think of it. God damn it. Antonio Banderas. Yeah, it was directed by, by Inigo Montoya. And, Chris Christopher Nolan. <laughs> yeah, Christopher Nolan, <laughs> who I love as a director. And I said, I saw a little bit of a, whoops, uh, that was my phone. A little bit of a preview, and I said, fuck, I'm not going to watch any, any mm -hmm. anything else from now on until I see it. And I saw that movie. I didn't know Tom Hardy was in it. Mm -hmm. I didn't know Ellen Page was in it, Last of Us Girl. Mm -hmm. And it was, <laughs> it was, a, not the last it was of an us absolutely girl. wonderful experience in, in the sense of, like, everything was new the very first time I saw it. You know she tried to sue uh, Nolly Dog for, for pe making people think that that was her? Well, that's why I tried to sue J.K. Rowling for making Dumbledore look just like me. <laughs> the fucking bitch. She stole my look. All right, so anything else to discuss? We've gone very long, I'm sure. No, I mean, I, I think I'm just going to go uh, watch the preview for next week and then go to sleep because <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. All right. So King's Landing for sure. I mean, that's... I'm hoping. I mean, you I think I, Arya will be in town? I think it's got to address the Sparrow thing. I think it's got to address Cersei's trial. Yeah. I think it's got to address the rumor that Cersei mentioned, which people are speculating is uh, wildfire stored underneath the high sept of Baylor. Oh. That she's perhaps going to, you know, if she's saying, if I go down in this trial, I'm taking you guys with me, yeah. a.k.a. Mag King Targaryen style. Fair enough. And maybe that's how she takes out the, the sparrows. She blows up the sept with them all in it. Well, incest does make you crazy. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it could be anything like that. Wow, okay, I cool. Think, I personally, I, what I would love to see is an entire season end with a shot of just, like, boats hitting the shore and then a dragon flying over and showing that Daenerys has landed in Westeros. I think it probably will end something like that. Yeah, it'll be something like that. Yeah, because there, there's a lot to happen with that. Um, obviously, that'll mm -hmm. be, and that's a wonderful teaser for the next season yeah. cliffhanger. Uh, yeah, man, I think you're pretty much right on. I'm sure the mountain. I want to see him um, pick up the high sparrow by like, squeezing him from both sides of his head, and then just squeeze his hands and smush him like he did to the viper, <laughs> uh, or the sand snake man, or whatever the fuck. And Oberyn uh, Martell. Yeah, Oberyn Martell, you kill my sister. Prepare to die. Um, so uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for finding our channel. Quick note, next week we are going to do it, but I have to work, and I will not be able to watch the episode Sunday. I also have to work Monday night, so it's going to be later in the week. If you are looking for our video, we were, we're grateful that you found us and that you've enjoyed our Game of Thrones reviews. So we love you. Yeah, I will be able to watch it, though, so I'm going to put watch spoilers it. all yeah, over it and tape it to your rooms when you wake up <laughs> everywhere you look. Ah! And is going to horrify you. A house of spoilers. <laughs> be like a I'll probably watch right. it when I come home on Sunday, but I won't be home from work on Sunday until probably midnight. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. And i got to produce this fucking show. Oh, God. Um, so uh, it'll be probably Wednesday or Thursday of next week, and it really makes me mad. But you know what? It, the biggest cost is it disappoints people, which sucks, mm -hmm. but also we lose new people because people are excited mm -hmm. on Monday, and it is the finale. So that's, that's disappointing. Anyway, we're, I'm going on too long. It's time to go. And, uh, oh, real quick, this is the most horrifying shot of the entire episode. Sorry, bear with us, guys. This is worth it. At the end, with DBW Weinihoff talk, those the two-headed dragon that makes the show, here's what we noticed was terrifying. Ready? Are you fucking shitting me? Are you serious? I think we need to send in Tormund's giant's boner to rip that off and bite <laughs> that puck. Come on, who does this? Did he lose a bet? Did one of his kids get get him while he was high on rich guy drugs? Are you kidding? He, he's wealthy. Who does this? Where does this happen? Did he go to a fucking Mr. Clean convention and they missed? James, explain <laughs> this. 
I've never been comfortable with these piercings on men. I know I, I don't give a fuck, actually. It, it does go against my belief that we're all just random animals. We can do whatever the fuck we want, so it's actually fine. But, come on! Maybe he doesn't know it's there. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually not metal. It's just part of his ear. I don't get it. Maybe he went fishing and someone uh, caught him there. And yeah. Just... I mean, it's, it's just as arbitrary as poking a hole in this part, and I would also be judging this guy for having a, 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 a real ear piercing, too, or a nose ring, or an eyebrow ring. But an upper uh, thing, like a fucking runaway? I need to go back to like the other previous episodes after show things to see <laughs> yes. if this is something he just got last week. Maybe. I mean, the only explanation I would accept is like, well, we wrapped up the season and the entire crew went and got this. Because sometimes mm -hmm. they do like, well, we tattoos got, and things. Well, we got tattoos because we ran a marathon. Like, what the fuck? I know I'm judging, and I, I do feel actually quite uh, shitty for being so specific. He's going to hang judgmental. a little banner from it. <laughs> I'm never, never going to get hired by HBO to be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. Although if I had this kind of this life this guy's got, who gives a fuck? I guess you do whatever you want. But who who reaches like 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 Harrison Ford got an earring? Yeah. Ed Bradley earring in their sixties. What are you guys nuts? But who does this one? Who does this fucking earring? What's going on here? All right, guys. Well, anyway, just want to end on that note. <laughs> Goodbye, James. <laughs> Goodbye. You're my uh, Tormund, or I mean, you're my giant, and I hope that you never we, use never use a shield. We have one thing to say about that. <laughs> God. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>